What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Detective Pikachu Returns. Pikachu says, okay, today we're going to find out more about the Aurora Drop, right? Yeah, Rachel said she'd introduce me to a professor from Rhyme University. We've still got a little time before we're supposed to meet her at the Hi-Hat Cafe, though. Your family doesn't visit that often. Why don't you chat with them a bit before we head out? Yeah, I know, Pikachu. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let me deal with my own family issues. No. All right, so what's going on, fam? Oh. Oh, I see the newspapers arrived. You subscribe to a newspaper, Tim? <laughs> yeah, what is this? The 1990s? Yeah, it's Rhyme City's daily paper. You never used to read the paper until you lived at home. Uh, when you lived at home, what changed? Well, I'm a college student now. I thought I should read the newspaper at least. Well, aren't you mature? What are you doing, Tim? Trying to look cool or something? I'm the one who suggested that you start getting the newspaper, you know. As a detective, it's important to be gathering information at all times. I'm sure there's a lot going on every day in a city as big as this one. Checking the new newspaper regularly is a good idea. Thanks, Mom. Your mom knows what she's talking about, Tim. Tim and Pikachu's activities will be reported in the newspaper the day after a case is solved. Try reading the newspaper on the table. Okay, sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's read that newspaper. I thought you wanted me to talk about family stuff. Okay. So there's a lot. <laughs> Daily crossword. Okay, latest developments in the jewel theft case. Hmm. This will be kind of a good recap of last episode. I don't know who got that photo, though. I mean, who was there photographing that 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 bird? I don't know. Looks like they still haven't found the Aurora drop. Inspector Holiday and his team have been searching for the jewel in Cramorant. But there's been no progress on either front. Speaking of Cramorant, he was acting really weird then, wasn't he? According to the article, even Turner didn't know why he acted like that. So Turner didn't order Cramorant to swallow the jewel and escape. Hmm, something's really fishy about this whole thing. All right. The, the article about a woman who got injured inside her house and couldn't move. It says her Lillipop went outside and howled to alert the neighbors. Oh, that's a sweet story. Hey, wait, look at this photo. Isn't that the woman we met yesterday? The one whose Lillipop ran off? Let me see. You're right. We met her in front of the dentist residence. Her Lillipop was a pretty shy little guy who preferred quiet places. Apparently, he kept barking and howling until the neighbors finally noticed. I guess he gathered up all of his courage to help his beloved partner. Oh, interesting. Apparently, a new medicine has been developed using Rabombi's pollen puffs. Makes sense. Rabombi makes a lot of different kinds of pollen puffs. I hear their pollen puffs have different effects based on the flowers the nectar and pollen come from. I, I bet how they mix ingredients could be applied to human medicine, too. I wonder what kind of pollen puffs that Rabombi was making yesterday. It might come up um, with something really surprising, but first, those little cutie fly need to learn how to gather nectar properly. And then this one looks like a community soccer looks like community soccer clubs have gotten pretty popular lately. Apparently, players can participate alongside their partner Pokemon. That's a lot of peas. The article says the crowd goes wild at every match, watching the incredible power of Pokemon and their teamwork with their partners. It's getting rave reviews from both players and audience members. So that's why the boy yesterday was looking for a Pokemon to play soccer with. Do you think he and Raboot will make a good team? I'm sure they will. Didn't you see how much fun they were having practicing together? Daily crossword, sure. Mm -hmm. I wonder what today's crossword is like. It's surprisingly challenging, so I look forward to it every day. The crosswords are written by readers. Wow, I'm impressed by the people who can make these. Okay, Tim, let's fill it out. Let's see. The Pokemon catches prey with its long tongue. That'd be a licky tongue. It's got the right number of letters and everything. This Pokemon uses its cute looks to put uh, you off your guard so it can steal from you. Meowth? No, not enough letters. Purloin, then. This Pokemon always moves together in a well-coordinated group. Mm, based on the squares we've already filled in, I'm guessing uh, this has got to be Phalanx. So this is just like a kind of a recap of all the missions and side quests I did last episode. Hey, Pikachu, I feel like we've heard these hints before. Yeah, you're right. This puzzle must have been created by a certain quiz professor. All right. Good deal. Uh, head out when you're ready. Well, let me talk to Mom. Right. Good morning, Mom. Did you sleep okay last night? Yes, just fine. Thanks. You have classes today, don't you? I'm actually headed, heading out for an important investigation this morning. Once you're on a case, it's all you can think about. Just like your father. Good grief. Oh, Mom, I don't suppose you've heard from Dad at all. I certainly would have told you if I had. Yeah, that's true. Your wife sure loves you, Harry. Must be nice. <laughs> yeah, but he's, I don't know what happened with him. What is this food? This is an actual apple, right? Not an apple. <laughs> this is, this is, they didn't just cut up an apple, did they? <laughs> it's just a normal apple, but I'm sure it's hard to tell them apart. 
And hello, that... sis. Hey, Tim. Hi. Hmm? That Pikachu, he seems kind of odd, don't you think? Rude. What do you mean? He is, isn't he? I've never seen a Pikachu that drinks coffee before. Not bad. You have a good eye for detail. <laughs> All right. Great. Also, that she still wants to yeah. talk. Your Pikachu is so funny. Funny, not cute. The way Sophia reacts to stuff is a bit different from everyone else. All right, we're going to head out. We got to go to the Hi Hat Cafe to meet up with whoever. Mm -hmm. We should get going. While we're out, I want to buy more coffee beans. Our supplies are running low. Okay, okay. Your usual dark roast, right? Anyway, we're heading out now. Bye. Have a nice day. Well, thank you. All right. Hmm. You sure we were supposed to meet Rachel in front of the Hi-Hat Cafe? Yeah, she should be here by now. I wonder what's keeping her. Please, Papa, just listen to me. That sounded like Rachel. <sighs> Why don't you understand, Papa? Pokemon don't need to be managed. The people who use them to commit crimes are the real problem. Rachel, no matter how many times we have this same conversation, I'm not going to change my mind. You never listen! All right. Tim. Is everything okay? Well, let's just go inside. Excuse me. What were you and your dad talking about? The Pokemon friendship bill. Ah, uh, they mentioned that on the news. Said it was a bill to help Pokemon or something. I happened to read the actual text of the bill in Papa's study the other day. The one phrase that kept popping up throughout the whole thing was to monitor and manage Pokemon. It's pretty much a friendship bill in name only. I can't believe he tried to deprive Pokemon of their freedom. Papa seriously changed. So you're against your father's bill? Pokemon should be able to live freely. They don't need to be managed. Even during the R incident, Pokemon were the victims. It was cruel people who were the, who were responsible. Sorry, this wasn't. This isn't what we're here to discuss. This is what you wanted to talk about yesterday, isn't it? I just wanted someone to listen to me. I'm glad I could talk to you about it, Tim. I'm always happy to lend an ear, but are you sure you don't need any other help? Yes, I'm fine now. Really, let's go get the real topic of the day, uh, the jewel. That's right. Yesterday you said you could introduce me to a professor from Rhyme University. Yes, Professor Gordon. He's a leading figure in the field of mineral archaeology. He researches the connections between minerals and ancient civilizations. I figured he could probably tell us something about the jewel. Right now, though, he's conducting research at the Southern Ruins. We'll have to travel quite a ways to see him. Yeah, those ruins are pretty far from here. Field work is a huge part of mineral archaeology. Once the professor sets out, he usually doesn't come back for several months. Sounds like we'd better go meet him there, then. Yeah, who knows how long we'll be waiting if we just stay here. Okay, we better get going if we want to get there before sundown. Huh? You're coming too, Rachel? I mean, it's not like you actually know Professor Gordon. I'm the one taking his class. Besides, I think it'll be fun to help a great detective out with the case. Hey, this isn't all fun and games, you know. <laughs> well, what is it? When are we going to meet this guy? The fabled Aurora. Southern ruins. So we're we're gonna be in a new area, I think. Huh? Why is it snowing? It's cold, dude. Just what's going on here? Oh, it's freezing cold. And it's just here in this specific area. Hmm. Intriguing. Hmm. So it's only snowing around the ruins. No way that's normal. For now, let's just find the professor. He may be able to tell us something about all this. Good plans. The ruins are just up this hill. We should be able to find him there. Just up the hill? Okay, let's go, Tim. Yes. The ruins are just up the hill, but getting to them looks a little exhausting. Are you tired, Rachel? Please don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't worry, I'm fine. Going ahead, I'll catch up to you soon. You don't want to follow me? All right, let me just uh, look around. What's going on here? Charge, Charge a bug. Great. What a strangely shaped Pokemon. Yeah, you don't see these in Rhyme City. Rowlet. Round eyes look round and around. Rowl Rowlet. 
This sure is a cute Pokemon. All right, so we're just introducing ourselves to Pokemon, basically. What's going on over here, sir? Well, hello there. Yes. Hello, what are you up to all the way out here? I'm a fossil collector. I travel all over the world searching for new additions to my collection. This is my partner, Zigzagoon. Yeah. It's a rock smasher. Smash those rocks then, huh? This looks cold, even with all that fur. Fossils, huh? Do you really think you'll find some here? Ha! Do you have any idea how incredible these ruins are? There are countless fossils buried around here, just waiting to be unearthed, and I intend to do just that. Wow, evidence of an ancient civilization and fossils? Sounds like the kind of place legends are born from. Furthermore, new research has confirmed that the construction of these ruins coincided with a huge meteor shower. Hundreds of meteorites are said to have fallen from the sky and landed here. Yes, here! Truly, these ruins are the stuff of legends. Well, I hope you're able to find some fossils. Thank you, Owen. Oh, before I forget, do you happen to know any Pokemon that are capable of breaking this boulder? There's something behind it, but I, I can feel it in my bones. It might even be a fossil. My Zigzagoon usually helps me with this sort of thing, but this little fella's poor paws are frozen numb. Well, get him out of here, dude. What are you doing? We don't want to have trudge all this way out here for our fossil excavation just to be stopped by some nippy weather, you know. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do. Me too, but it's not like either of us can bust a big boulder like that. If we could just find a Pokemon strong enough to break rocks, we probably will. We probably will eventually. Uh, hello? Side quest. Levani, a leaf tailor. It's a Levani. It looks kind of anxious. Do you think there's something wrong? Hey, Levani, did something bad happen? I see. It's worried because some Swadloons still haven't come home. Levani's gone looking for them a lot already and can't find them anywhere. With how cold it is here, I can't see why Levani's worried. If we find the Swadloon, let's tell them to come home. Oh, I can see why she's worried. Good idea. Apparently, there are two Swadloon missing. Two of them. Got it. Okay, Levani, leave those Swadloon to us. Nah, don't worry about it. We can look for them while we're conducting our other investigations. It wants us to deliver these clothes to the Swadloon when we find them because they're probably shivering in this cold. These are clothes for Swadloon? Yeah, Levani can use their sticky silk to weave clothes out of leaves. Okay, got it, Levani. We'll search for those Swadloon and deliver these clothes to them, too. So you just sit tight and stop worrying. All right. Another local concern. We'll get on the case. We're on the case. Uh, hello. There's some pink bananas. You're cold, too, even though you're on fire. Monferno should be able to uh, kind of self-heat, you would think. That's a Monferno. It probably lives around here. It doesn't look too happy. It doesn't like how it's cold has gotten so suddenly. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? About you. Hey. Can you create fire, Monferno? I like to I think that it would help you deal with the cold. Oh, it's so cold that it's hard to heat up your flame. It says it might leave this area if the cold continues much longer. I guess it prefers warm places. I hope the weather gets better soon. Hey. Snowfall is pretty rare here, isn't it? This is the first time you've seen snow here when it's not winter? When did the snow start? A few days ago, it says right when some humans arrived, clouds suddenly started to gather above the ruins and then it started to snow. It's really strange that the snow is only falling around the ruins. Yeah, maybe we'll learn more if we pay them a visit. All right, and then what about these pink mm -hmm. bananas? Some pink berries are growing here. Yeah, those are nanab berries. Kinda looks like banana backwards a little bit. What's going on with you? We meet again, Detective. Oh, this is a quiz professor. Remember me? I do. Uh, who are you again? Oh, come on. It's me, the quiz professor. Now, let's get started on today's Pokemon quiz. Answer with the correct Pokemon, and I'll give you some fun trivia about that Pokemon as a reward. She was at the park in Rhyme City, too. Um, we're actually pretty busy right now. Okay, question number one. What winged Pokemon has a round body and adorable eyes? The correct Pokemon can be found close by, so get out there and find it. She's not listening to us at all. Well, if we happen to come across the answer, I guess we can tell her. So we have another, the quiz professor's back for round two. What's going on with this tree? Mm -hmm. Some yellow berries are growing here. They must be Panap berries. Whoa. Low tad. Low tad. A leaf bobber. Okay, great. They're singing. 
Those are low tad. They're singing so cheerfully. Sorry to bother you when you're having so much fun, but do you mind if we ask you some questions? Hey. You three seem really happy. I take it you're not bothered by the cold? They said a little cold snap like this is no problem when they can sing. They want to hurry up and evolve because it's their dream to dance together. We should ask Ludicolo at the Hi Hat Cafe to join them then. Hey. Have you three always lived here? So you love it here because it's warm and has plenty of food. It's a shame the weather's like this now. Apparently they're just fine, but they're worried about the other Pokemon around here. I hope the snow stops soon. And then what's this? Mm -hmm. Some blueberries are growing here. I think they're yach berries. I think I said that totally right. <laughs> All right, let's go see what other you know quiz stuff you may or may not have. And what do you need? Ursa Ring. Can, can Ursa Ring break stuff? I don't know. Oh, it's an Ursa Ring. You don't see those back in Rhyme City very often. You sure don't look happy. Ursa Ring, is something wrong? You came all this way from a faraway bamboo forest with your Ursa Ring friend to look for food, but now your friend has been missing for days? I can see why it's worried. Let's help Ursa Ring search for its friend. Yeah, we may be in the middle of an investigation, but I'm worried about that other Ursa Ring. Do you have any information that might help our search? The last time you saw your friend, he was headed towards the ruins. Sounds like that other Ursa Ring may be inside then. Okay, we'll let you know if we find your friend. All right, so we were actually picking up a lot of local concerns, just like right off the bat. And we didn't really see those. Uh, let's look at this tree. Mm -hmm. Red berries, Haban berries. I don't really know enough about or remember enough about Pokemon to know which berries are which. All right, go up the hills to the ruins. This looks like the ruins, right? <sighs> Ooh, that was quite the hike. Hey, Tim, there are a lot of Pokemon here that I've never seen in the city. Yeah, same here. But that Ursa Ring we saw just outside isn't native to this area. Maybe it came here looking for food. Say, where is Gordon anyway? Huh, it looks like someone's here. Oh, that's... Is that him? Oh, what are you doing here? It's Chris Honor, Professor Gordon's assistant. <laughs> and Munchlax, a curry enthusiast. <laughs> I like curry sometimes. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you during your work, Chris. My name is Rachel, and this is Tim. I'm a student of Professor Gordon's, and Tim here also attends Rhyme University. Oh, your students, what brought you all the way out here? There's something we want to ask Professor Gordon about. We were hoping to talk to him. The professor, oh dear. He entered the ruins two days ago, and well, as you can see, he hasn't come back yet. <laughs> that would be so alarming. Imagine just being here, like, well, he just ha he isn't back. <laughs> like, do you have any sort of protocol, you know, when you're tagging along? Do you be like, hey, if you're not going to come back tonight, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'll call the police or something. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? Oh, the professor's always like this. He's absolutely obsessed with his research in the ruins. Look, so if he's always like this, maybe it's not alarming. I'm pretty sure he's deep inside them right now with his partner, Slowpoke. As much as I wish I could check on him, there's some kind of trick to opening the door to the ruins. You have to trip some sort of mechanism to open it, but I can't figure it out. He usually makes it back without issue. I'm sure he's fine. Hey, in case you haven't noticed, it's freezing. Can you really afford to be so carefree about this? I guess we have to figure out how to use the mechanism if we want to meet Gordon. Okay, Chris, we'll look for Professor Gordon and his slow poke. You? I'm not sure that's the best idea. Don't worry, Tim and Pikachu are detectives famous all over Rhyme City. Oh, you're that Tim, the great detective. In that case, I'm a lot less worried. Okay, I'll leave the search uh, for the professor and Slowpoke to you. Just don't push yourself too hard. Right, first we'll investigate the entrance to this ruins. I won't be much help if you're looking at the same things, if I'm looking at the same things you are. I'll go look around the per perimeter of the ruins. Thanks. Okay, let's start investigating that entrance. Indeed. <sighs> Thanks again, Tim. Just let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Excuse me. What are you doing here, Chris? I'm helping with the professor's research. I set up camp, search around the outside of the ruins, stuff like that. It's not uncommon for me to lose contact with a professor like this, but if I stop working just because he's disappeared, I'll get in trouble with him later. Sounds pretty rough. Oh, I'm used to it by now. About all I can do at the moment is cook up some curry and wait for him. And there are so many berries growing around here, it's a great chance to try out different flavors. I'm not sure if the professor's too independent or if this guy's too easygoing, but either way, they seem to make a good pair. And then what does uh, uh, Miss Rachel over here yes. have to say? 
The professor has several assistants, but I heard that Chris is the most skilled. If even he can't figure out how to open the door to the ruins, it must be pretty difficult. I believe in you, Tim. Now let's figure out this trick to opening the door so we can go see the professor. Sounds like a plan. What about you, Munchlax? Mm. This Munchlax appears to be Chris's partner. Ask you anything, huh? Don't mind if we do. Tell us about yourself. Hey, what are you doing here? He says he's helping Chris. What sort of help do you do? Your job is to eat a lot so there are no leftovers at the end of the day. <laughs> Sounds like you're just a glutton. All right, what about the Professor Slowpoke? Hey. What's Gordon's partner Slowpoke like? It says Slowpoke's always with the big man. It must mean Professor Gordon. Slowpoke is really nice, and he sometimes lets you eat his tail? And his tail is sweet and delicious? <laughs> Seems like Slowpoke is pretty generous. Find Tim, yourself someone who lets you eat their tail. Here. Oh my god, who's yelling that? Tim, over here! Who said that? What kind of berries Tim. are these? I'll mm -hmm. be right there. There's some blue berries growing here. Coba berries. Thanks for the... These might come in handy lately. Who is yelling for me, dude? Oh, oh, it's, it's this guy. Hey, Munchlax. Is it true that you eat your own weight in food every day? Munch. Munchlax. It must be hard on Chris. <laughs> All right. Swadloon. Find safety in swaddling. It's a swadloon. Looks like it didn't go home because it's too cold to move. Let's give it the clothes we got from... Oh, oh we found one. <laughs> I forgot we were looking for these guys. Looks the same. It looks a lot happier now. It looks the same, even emotionally. Now you can get back to Levani, right? It seems really worried about you. Uh, you should hurry home, okay? All right, there's one. I'm just looking around really quick. Eldegoss. Thick cotton fluff. Another cotton thing? That sure is a fluffy Pokemon. Sure enough. Uh, so let's investigate the actual entrance really quick just to see what we can come up with. Hey. Okay, let's take a good close look and figure out what sort of mechanism we're working with. Careful not to miss any details. Yeah, I know. I see a pressure plate. Let's see, where should we look first? Let's obviously look at this. This tile right here has a design carved into it. Wow, I don't know what that is. Hmm, what do you suppose this, this design means? I have no idea, I'm not an archeologist. Fair enough, it might have meant something to Gordon though. Hmm, I wonder. Let's just look at the door itself. Huh? There's some sort of picture on the door. Yeah, it must be some kind of relief. What a relief. It looks like a person holding up a Pokemon. Yeah, it does. Do you think it's a clue about the mechanism? Okay. I think we've checked everything that stands out. Yeah, we just gave this place a quick glance, but I think we've got plenty to work with now. What about this? No? So we literally have... Well, what's up here? Mm-hmm. Snow is pile, piled above the door. Looks like a, quite a lot has fallen. We did hear that it's been snowing for several days straight. I hope we can figure out what caused that. What about this tree has footsteps? They're faint, but I can see some footprints on this tree. Hmm, judging by the shape, I'd say these are human. Not sure they're Gordons, though. Someone must have climbed this tree, but why would they do that? Okay. I think that's just about everything. Yeah, I think we've seen enough here. All right, I think I should climb the tree. Maybe, maybe not. Well, we looked all around the door, but we still don't know how to open it. It looks like Chris was right. It won't open unless we activate some sort of mechanism. Hmm. Uh, what's the mechanism? Okay, we still can't figure it out. Makes sense. Own methods, what do you mean? Our detective, our detective skills, you know, conducting investigations, interviewing witnesses, all that jazz. Chris might know more about the ruins, and maybe someone saw Gordon open the door. But who? Oh, you mean the Pokemon who live here? Exactly. Let's go interview witnesses and see if we can round up clues. So yeah, I don't think it's as easy as just stepping on this. Otherwise, it would open right now. And then I don't think uh, it's going to let me climb the tree, although I want to. Um, so who should we interview? Let's just interview the closest guy, this guy. Um, hey. Do you know what Gordon was doing when he entered the ruins? 
He was eating something while he investigated the ruins? Okay. Maybe a berry. Who knows? He must have been quite in a hurry if he was snacking and researching at the same time. What did Gordon do after that? He was moving around strangely near the entrance. And he was acting so weird a Pokemon up in a tree started laughing at him. So it wasn't just Munchlax and Chris that were watching the professor. That Pokemon saw him too. What happened after that? The next thing he knew, Gordon was gone. Let's ask him more about that other Pokemon. Hey. Right, Munchlax, you said there was a Pokemon watching Gordon from up in the tree. What kind of Pokemon was it? You don't know because you've never seen that kind of Pokemon before, huh? Where did it go? He says it disappeared down the path to the left. It's always better to hear what each Pokemon has to say. Let's make sure we've talked to them all. Mm. Is there something you wanted to ask? Excuse me. Can you tell us what the professor was up to before he disappeared? Sure. Before he entered the ruins, he spent a lot of time wandering around near the entrance. Shortly after he went inside, I heard a rumbling, grinding sound. And when I looked over the door to the ruins, it closed. Do you have any idea what happened? Not really. I was busy making curry at the time, so I didn't actually see when the door closed shut. Gotcha. Thanks for your help. All right. And then what about you? Did you see anything? No, he doesn't want to talk about it. Let's go down this path over here. And see if we can find anybody. There's another tree. Mm -hmm. Uh, what grows on this tree? Let me see. Ooh. There's the Pokemon from the tree. Oh wow, Pasimian. He looks deranged. <laughs> I like the voices for all these. They're just humans. Whoa, a Pasimian was in this tree. We woke you up from your nap. Sorry about that. Pass, pass. <laughs> it's been noisy around here lately because of all the strange visitors. Is it talking about the professor and Chris? Maybe. Let's, let's ask for more details. Hey. Do you live here? Apparently, Pasimian and its troop have lived here a long time. It says that they never have to worry about food because so many berries grow around here. So this is a pretty easy place to live, I guess. Pass. It says it's been seeing humans around here recently. Recently, were there no humans here before? Humans used to live here a long time ago, but now they're a rare sight. And it, only, and it only knew that humans used to live here because that's what grandfather told it. If humans once lived here, it must have been really uh, a really long time ago. Hey, did you see a human around here with a slow poke? You saw a human doing something in front of the ruins while you were up in the tree? What was it doing, the human? He was trying to lift Slowpoke up in front of the door. But Slowpoke was too heavy to lift, so the human started climbing up the tree instead. Alright, so he lifted Slowpoke. But he's too heavy. But Simeon also says it was laughing its head off watching them. The professor climbed a tree? What in the world was he up to? I'm really curious about what Pasimian told us. You mean about Gordon climbing a tree before he entered the ruins? He must have had a reason. But Simeon also said the professor tried to lift up Slowpoke, right? And remember, the relief on the door also depicted someone holding up a Pokemon. Do you think there's something on top of the door? It sure sounds possible. Let's go look up there. All right, then. Just a little climb. No problem. Oh! Oh, finally made it. <laughs> He's out of air. Anything up there? Let me catch my breath first. That's no way to treat a Pokemon. This tile has the same design as the one down there. Oh, two switches. Well, stay mm -hmm. up there. What did you see on top of the door? There was a tile with the same design as the one on the ground by the door. The same design. Let's think back over what we know. Let's stop thinking and just try it first. Gordon climbed the tree before entering the ruins. Yeah, it must have been to open the door. Right, so there's got to be some sort of key or switch to open it. Have we seen anything that fits the description? Let's see, something like a key or switch? Mm -hmm. It's got to be that tile with a unique design. I could see that being a switch to open the door. Right, I think that's pretty likely. Okay, I'll try stepping on it. Ah, I felt something. It sank down a bit when I pressed on it. It's definitely a switch then, but the door still didn't budge. There must be some other way to open it. Try to deduce how, Tim. Tim! Tim! I, I know how, basically. A bolt of... Oh, wait. Oh, no, never mind. Sorry. I thought I was gonna have a bolt of brilliance. Well, I'm telling you, if yes, there's it was another... just a false alarm. Sorry. 
Uh, well, okay, but why don't, okay, I'm so confused. I'm just, okay, try to deduce. Okay, well, do I need to deduce it right now? Hmm. Yeah, it's this one, obviously. Uh. Yeah, press both switches, right? Oh. Good. There are two switches with the same design, one above the door and one below the door. Maybe the door will open if we press them both. So you think Gordon climbed the tree to press the switch above the door? Yeah, and he had Slowpoke press the one below. Then maybe we all we gotta do is press both switches at once. Let's try it out now. All right, easy. There you go. Let's do it. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, now she's here. Okay, let's press both switches at once. You can press the one down here, Tim. I'll get the one up top. Thanks, Pikachu. Um, I know I volunteer, but climbing trees is actually pretty tough. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Gotta climb up again. Okay, Pikachu, you press that one. Yep, leave it to me. All right, same time though. You too? Yes! Okay, there we go. I thought it had to be the same time. Hmm. All right, now we can get inside. Let's go find the professor. All right, entering the ruins right now. And the music plays, and we're in for a treat. So this is what the ruins are like inside, seemingly. Why is it so cold? Yeah, it's freezing in here too, what's going on? I know it's snowing outside, but this still feels really unnatural. Snow outside, ice inside, I bet there's a connection. Do you think the professor's all right after two whole days in here? <laughs> I hope so, we should probably hurry. I'm not sure what we'll find in here, so I'll go scout ahead. Thanks, Tim. Uh, okay, let's go find Gordon. You think Pikachu's cold? He's not wearing any clothes. Look at this. He's just dead. <laughs> Gordon's just dead, frozen. Hmm. Looks like there are three different ways to go. Which way do you think the professor went? I don't, I don't know. I think we, we're gonna have to go each way, either way. So let's start off with left. Oh, there's a slow poke, frozen. How do we get Wait, him out of there? <laughs> huh? Is this the professor's partner, slow poke? Easy there, slow poke. We're not your partner. He thought Mr. Go was back, and now he's disappointed. He calls Professor Gordon Mr. Go, huh? That's cute. Hey, Tim. Looks like his feet are frozen solid. I think he's stuck. Yeah, we can't leave him like this. But what can we do to help? Hmm, what if we ask Rachel for help, but then we try pulling him out together? Sounds like a plan. All right, here she is. This is Professor Gordon Slowpoke, right? Yeah, I think so, but why is he frozen? We gotta help him out quick. It won't be easy with ice this solid. Slowpoke. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll pull you free. Three, two, <laughs> get him out. Almost there. <laughs> Got him. Oof. And now I'm I'm injured horribly. <laughs> A little help here. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Not. Funny, Rachel. This is. Come on, quit playing around. <laughs> Wait, huh? Uh oh. Oh no! Isn't this Slowpoke's tail? <laughs> hey, are you okay? Oh wait, he has another one. No. Does, he, does it regrow? Well, I see. Your tail really grows back fast. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. I can keep this. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Slowpoke. <laughs> That's so weird. No. Looks like we managed to get him free. Thank goodness. He says thank you for rescuing him. I'm really glad we could help, though you're heavier than you look. Did Slowpoke give you his tail just now, Pikachu? 
Yeah, don't you know slowpoke tails are good eats? You can't help but smile when you sink your teeth into one. Huh, you don't say. How'd you end up frozen anyway? It happened so suddenly that you're not sure? What about your partner, Gordon? Where's he? You were asleep until just now, so you don't know? I wish I was that carefree. Hmm, well, that's too bad. So then, what do you remember, Slowpoke? Can you tell us anything at all? Hey! Just to confirm, you're Gordon's partner, right? Just as we thought, so you came here to help with Gordon's research. And he always brings you along on all of his research trips, huh? What sort of things do you do to help the professor? You're good at spraying water, huh? Hmm, how is that helpful to Gordon? Do you think he sprayed all this water and froze it over? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. Oh, I see. Gordon brings you along instead of bringing a canteen. That's a choice. <laughs> and he also eats your tail when he's hungry. Can you tell us what happened when you got frozen? Slow. Apparently it happened so suddenly he was already frozen by the time he noticed anything was wrong. What was the professor up to when you got frozen? He says that Gordon has gone off somewhere. And when Slowpoke tried to follow, that's when he got frozen. He says uh, he sat there wondering what to do until he fell asleep. Hard to believe he managed to sleep for two days in this in this cold. Uh, two days in a place this cold. Hey, was Gordon with you when you entered this room? Okay, so they were together at that point. When did you and Professor get separated? Right after they reached this room. Gordon told Slowpoke to use his water to wash the dust off a mural. After Slowpoke did that, Gordon suddenly noticed something and rushed out of the room. Hmm. I wonder what that means. A bit later, he heard Gordon call out, uh... Let's see. Call out in surprise from the next room. And then there was a rumbling, rocky sound. Uh, okay. Slowpoke tried to hurry and catch up. Uh, but that's when he got frozen. And right after you got frozen, you heard that rumble again. So you heard that rumbling sound twice, huh, Slowpoke? Hmm. Do you have any idea what Gordon might have noticed? No dice, huh? The murals in this room are pretty big. Yeah, I bet there's a clue hidden somewhere in these murals. So we're going to have to uh, investigate. Um, all right. Thanks for the info, Slowpoke. You've been a huge help. That conversation just sounded like a bunch of pika pikas and slow slows to me. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Still, they talked for a pretty long time. What were they talking about? Could you understand them, Tim? Uh, what? No, of course not. Of course I can't understand them. <laughs> All right. All right, then. I got, uh, I'm going to stay here for a while and look after Slowpoke. I want to at least make sure he's okay. He was stuck in that ice for two days, after all. Got it. Thanks, Rachel. In that case, let's get back to our investigation. According to Slowpoke, Gordon noticed something when he looked at these murals. Then these murals must hold the key to finding the professor's whereabouts. We better take a close look at them. Slowpoke. All right, I will, but let's talk to him first. You're pretty de desperate to find Gordon, aren't you? I get that you're worried, but you really got to take it easy for a bit. You've had a rough couple of days yourself. Yes. Is Slowpoke okay? I think he's hungry, but otherwise he seems fine. I gave him some of my lunch and he perked right up. I'll take care of Slowpoke. You just focus on finding the professor. All right. Look at this ice. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty huge hunk of ice. I know it's cold in here and all, but could something like that really have formed naturally? It seems kind of suspicious. All right, let's go look over here. What are we looking at? Are those the same berry or different berries? That's a yellow, the other one's a blue. What's in the middle? So these are the murals the professor was looking at. They both depict Passimian. Yeah, but how do we know which of these two murals he was actually looking at? Maybe looked at both of them, either way, uh, we'll have to give them each a thorough I inspection. <sighs> Professor Gordon knows something when he was looking at these murals. We should check him out as well. Make sure not to miss any details. Hmm. Okay, obviously we're looking at this, which is the berry type. Mm -hmm. 
Um, a yellow berry. And we'll have to deduce it from the trees around it. Is that the Panat Berry? I don't even remember. And then what's going on with this guy? He seems happy. Looks like my face when I've just eaten something sweet. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. Yeah, I think we're finished here. Let's go investigate. Uh, let's go investigate somewhere else. All right. There's another mural, and then there's the one that's frozen. We can't quite see it, but I can kind of see it. This wall is way more frozen than the others. If you look closely, it seems like there's another mural in the, on the middle wall, too. So we'll have to melt that. But with all this ice in the way, we can't see what the mural is depicting. If we want to see this mural, we're going to have to do something about the, all this ice first. I wonder what, what was drawn here. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. This one's sad with the blueberry or something. Yeah, his face, this one, mm -hmm. uh, he seems a little upset, but the berry is a blue one, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then his face is... That one's blue. And this one looks... What, what's, what emotion is this? A strained expression. <laughs> yeah, like it just ate something sour. Okay, so it's a sour expression. Got it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else to see in this mural. All right, so let's go investigate somewhere else, as in let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. We're still looking for Professor Gordon. Oh, hey, what, what are you? Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. I think just humans are doing all these sound effects for these Pokemon. All right, hmm, is this Pokemon trying to tell us something? Yeah, Minior says it, it wants to go back home. But where's its home? Uh, Minior lives up in the ozone layer. They fall down to the ground when their shells get too heavy. Wow, that high up, huh? If we help it get rid of its shell, do you think it could make it back up there? I wonder if we can find a Pokemon powerful enough to break its shell. Maybe. I think we're still looking. Is there anything else over here? No, we're gonna explore now. Go back, uh, I guess, so we found Slowpoke, we can go, let's go right now, I guess. I mean, that looks, that room looks suspicious, but let's go this way first. This one's just completely frozen. This rock seems a little different from the others. Yeah, it's definitely got a pretty strange shape. What do you suppose it's doing here? It looks like a Pokemon. Wow. It's a wall of ice. Looks like we can't go any farther this way. Yeah, there's no way we can get through a wall this thick. I can just barely see through the other side, though. Really? Let me take a look. Hmm, yeah, there's something definitely there. I see something moving. Hmm. Looks like a Looks suspicious, like a suspicious oh. shadow. <laughs> He's talking now. I'm curious to know what it is, but we should look into it later. Yeah, let's come back another time. So, straight ahead we go. There's a yellow something. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new handkerchief. Hmm, Trevor Gordon. Professor Gordon's name is embroidered on it. Imagine having your own embroidered handkerchief. But we got his. All right, great, handkerchief. Mm. The fact that we found the professor's handkerchief here means he must have come to this room. Yeah, but I don't see Gordon anywhere. Where do you think he went? We might be able to find some more clues about that. Let's investigate this area carefully. No need to begin deducing yet, because I don't know what's going on, but there are three of these statues in the middle. They look like they want to hold berries. I don't know. But do they have expressions on them? I, their faces all look the same, right? What a weird pose. It's almost like it's offering something. Yeah, now that you mention it, this is, uh, there's footprints all around too. Uh, that is strange. I wonder if there's some special meaning to it. Also, this statue has a slight scent to it. Really, I don't smell anything. That's because Pokemon are more sensitive to smell. This smells spicy. Just sniffing it makes my eyes sting. Spicy. All right, another statue. There's a sour smell. Okay, yeah, this is a probably sweet. So we got it, we got it. Sweet smell, got it. So I understand what to do. I just gotta collect berries. This is the only spot where the snow is piled up like this. There's a hole in the ceiling. Must have blown in from there. You're right. No wonder it's so cold. Wait, 
Does this mean we could have just gotten in through the ceiling? Don't look at me. I didn't see it when I was up there. Besides, it wouldn't have been really tough to it would have been really tough to get down through that hole safely. True, it's not like we brought rope or anything. And then just checking the corners over here. I do see the Pokemon over to the right. Oh, uh, uh, that one. Oh, there's the other one of these. There's a Swad Loon. It looks so cold. It's practically frozen. It must be too cold to walk back home. Quick, let's give it the clothes that Lavani gave us. All right, it looks much better now. Your mother's worried about you, so you should hurry home. All right. Off <laughs> we go. All right, we found both Swad Loon. Want to head back now to make sure they made it home safe and sound? Not yet. That's okay. We can still go back later whenever you feel like it. I probably should have just said yes. But I'm not done here. This wall looks different from the others. Yeah, there's a relief of Aegislash carved into it. What in the world could it mean? Hey, Tim, look at the floor. What What about it? Footprints. Going in. It looked like human footprints. From their size, I guess it'd be uh, they were made by an adult male. Hmm, you're right. But there's something weird about these footprints. I'll say the tip of the last footprint is cut off by the wall. It's almost like the wall was made after the footprints were left here. That doesn't seem possible though, does it? What could have happened here? Find clues. Then begin deducing. There are footprints all over the floor. It looks like someone was walking around. Some seem to be heading towards that wall, and the others look like they're leaving the room. Gordon must have gone in and out of this room several times. There's so many footprints all over this place, I can't tell which way the professor went. Uh, are there any other clues? The snow. Is there is there anything anything else in this room, or? Is that it? Hmm. The front of this footprint is cut off by the wall. All right. Is it time to deduce or? Okay. Yeah. Easy. He went in, in through the door. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Maybe this path extends past the relief of Age Slash, and the relief could have blocked off the path after the professor had already gone through. Does that seem possible to you? Hmm, the entrance to the ruins was was closed shut even though we know Gordon opened it. It's possible that this relief is also an entrance and it was closed, also closed shut after Gordon walked through it. If that's the case, maybe there's another mechanism that'll move this relief. Yeah, we just gotta figure out what it is. I bet it's to put berries in the monkey paws or whatever. So, hmm. uh, figure out how to activate the mechanism. Yeah, we don't. We need now. We need to investigate and figure out what kind of mechanism controls the wall. How do we do that? There was a, uni a unique design on the switches that opened the entrance. So the same design must be used inside the ruins too. Not necessarily. We have no reason to think the same type of mechanism is being used here. But that doesn't mean there aren't any visual clues here. Visual clues. For now, let's just look around the ruins for anything that seems unusual. What can we think of? What? What? We can think about the mechanism afterwards. I. Okay, hold on. <laughs> we we freeze that one no have the statues hold the berries that's got to be it right oh what if we have the statues hold the same berries as the Pissimian and the murals you know how both the statues and murals depict Pissimian? that makes me think they're both connected to the mechanism the Pissimian and the murals are holding berries but the Pissimian statues aren't so I think we need to make the statues match the murals ah I get what you're saying we could probably pull that off by placing berries on the statues the statues look like they're perfectly posed for holding berries, too. They're just one problem, though. Yeah, each mural depicts a different berry. Exactly, which means, which probably means we need to give each of the three statues a different berry. But what berry are we supposed to give which statue? 
I think I got it, dude. I think I understand. We just gotta guess on the middle one. Probably, right? Just brute force the middle one. Uh, yellow sweet berry statue on the left. And that one is a sweet yellow berry. Sweet yellow berry, uh, sour blueberry. And then the other thing is a mystery. Oh wait, hold on. How can we get rid of the ice in the mural? Uh, maybe the the, 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 the fire Pokemon, what, what, what was it? Uh, yeah, get help from a Pokemon. Yeah, there were lots of Pokemon outside the ruins. Let's go ask the Pokemon if any of them can help. So I think the monkey with the fire tail. Oh. So let's go see. Right, we need a sour berry that's blue, a sweet berry that's yellow, and then a mystery berry. So the colors we can see, so that part's easy, but what about the flavors? Hmm, even I don't know which bear, what every berry tastes like. Guess I'll just have to try them all. What, you're going to eat them? That's the fastest way to get the info we need, right? I guess, just don't make yourself sick, okay? Don't worry, we Pokemon love berries. All right, Tim, now that we've got a plan, let's go eat those berries. All right, so we do have a plan, and um, I'm, there's gonna be a spicy one for the middle. I just don't know which one's the spicy one or what color it is yet. But we're headed back out to the ruins, or the outside of the ruins, we're in the ruins, whatever. And then we're gonna go look for berries. I know that though, there was one, what's one? This one's blue, is this one? Here, eat this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're hard and bitter too. These are definitely Koba berries. That's not sour though, bitter's not sour. Are you okay, Pikachu? And then I don't think there's anything over here yet, unless something can break those rocks. Which might be possible. And then down here, was there were there berries down here? What are you doing? Cleffa. Hello. Oh wow, I didn't expect to find a Cleffa here. The Cleffa looks pretty surprised to be found too. All right, what about berries here? Hey. What kind of berries can you find around here? You can pick sweet yellow berries from the tree you live in, so that's why you like this tree. Sweet yellow berries, huh? It says you can have some if you want. Thanks, if we need any, we'll let you know. I think I do need some. Hey. Do you have any handy skills? Apparently it's really good at throwing berries. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, let's, uh, it says it often competes with its friend to see who can throw the farthest. So its friends are also its rivals. I think we do mm -hmm. need some of these berries. Ashuka berries, right? Let me taste one to make sure. Mmm, I know this sweet, delicious flavor anywhere. These are 100% shuka berries. Sweet yellow berries, huh? Great, can we have one? Mm -hmm. Do we have to deduce? Oh, we already have a shuka berry, so they actually got some. Okay, so now, we are gonna go, what's going on over here? Any guy, anyone wanna talk? About the berries here. Hey. Uh, they are bitter, not tasty. Okay, we already knew that. And what are you good at hey. eating? He's good at eating, we know that. Good at eating tail. He says he can clean up pots and plates until they're spotless and sparkling. He washes dishes, that's really helpful. All right, by clean up, he means eat every last scrap of food until the pots and plates are spotless. All right, that's fine, right? Sounds like there's a point of pride for Munchlax. Also, oh, doesn't wash dishes after all. It really just loves eating. Yeah, we figured that part out. Mm. What about you? What else uh, about the berries? We've already Excuse talked to him about the berries here. Yeah, I wandered around and explored a bit while waiting for the professor. There's lots of different berries here. Habon berries, Nanab berries, Pinap berries. It's a shame there aren't any tomato berries, though. Tomato bear, tomato berries. Yeah, they're spicy red berries. The professor loves them. So the sp spicy red berries, is he cooking with them right now? When I cook for the professor, he always loves any dish I flavor with tomato berries. So he knows just what flavor he likes. Sounds like we get along. Unfortunately, I just used up all the tomato berries I brought with me. No, see that tree over there with no berries on it? It's actually a tomato tree. Someone must have picked all the berries already. And here I was hoping to add a little more to this curry. So that is definitely a huge clue. Is it this one? That once we need the spicy berries, it's gonna be a little tough to find them. 
All right, so let's look around. We've been, what's up with you? It's a Claffa. It seems to be looking all over the place. What are you up to? You're playing hide and seek with your friends, but you can't find them. It must be hard being the seeker in such a huge area like this. What? Help you search for them? We're in the middle of an investigation. We can play hide and seek with you another time. You have other plans after this? And at this rate, you'll be late? Come on, we can help out, help it out a little, can't we? Yeah, I guess we can keep an eye out while we're investigating this place. So we already found one. You've got three friends to find, huh? Got it, we'll let you know if we find them. So, he's hiding, yeah, so we know for sure one is over here because we just ran into one. So let me just go uh, way back over here. I mean, it's really not that far. Boom. Found ya, you're one of the Cle you're one of the Clefa playing hide and seek, aren't you? Your buddy asked us to help find you. That's cheating. You thought no one would find you here, huh? Did, don't you have other plans after this? You should head back. All right. And then, um, there's two. What kind of berries are these? Mm -hmm. Red berries. Unique bitter taste, okay. Red and bitter, if we ever need red and bitter, but we need red and spicy, which we, know, we already kind of know what's going on. Personally, I'd rather grab a coffee if I'm craving something bitter. Burst. Yeah, we're still Thank looking for uh, your friend in the ruins, so not quite there yet. Now, you got to be able to help me, right? Can we ask you some questions what about the berries here? These are the, the purple whatever berries. Uh, these are pink berries. Uh, is that where you play? Gotcha. What do the pink berries taste like? That's sweet, huh? Sounds like you really love them. I like sweet berries too. You're good at fire, right? When it comes to spewing fire, no one can beat you. You sound pretty confident of that. So we're gonna need his help, probably. Well, that's hot. I guess this chat cheered up a little. Cheered it up a little. All right, and then, uh, yeah, we're still looking for your thing too. No, Dad. What kind of skills do you guys have? Where do you know the fire skill? Hey. The berries around here. Two different kinds. Uh, one kind is a sour blueberry. We need that one. And it sounds like the other is a yellow and has a sour spicy flavor. Oh, no, don't worry, Low Tab. We're not here to steal your berries. Hey. They're good at floating, probably. Singing and swimming. They're good swimmers, too? Of course they are. Look at them. Sometimes they even give rides to the other Pokemon here. All right. They do have nice big leaves for that. I can see how they're, they'd still be able to swim with the Pokemon hitching a ride on top. Oh, there's another one of these. Found you, Cleffa. The Cleffa looking for you asked us to help finding all of you. You thought no one would find you here? Don't underestimate the observational powers of a great detective. You've got some other plans after this, right? Go on, it's time to go home. Now these berries we need, right? These are sour blueberries, which I think mm -hmm. we do need. Um, whoa, they're so sour, but the aftertaste is really refreshing. Yep, these are definitely yach berries or whatever. There's no mistaking the sourness. Blueberries are that that are sour. So we got one, I think. Hope we hey. uh, we actually got yeah, we already got. Okay, so it's hard to tell that they collected them or just collected a photo okay, of one. Let's start deducing. I will in a second. I'm not done looking around, but I will. Okay. Sure, sure. Right. Let's. All right, no, we're not gonna solve the puzzle yet. We will soon in a second. I'm, I'm still looking around. Let me let me do some side quest-like things. We pretty much know what we need to do. Nina. It looks like both the Swadloon got back safely. It's thanking us for delivering the leaf clothes. You're very welcome. Glad to see you both look okay. Now don't go worrying Levani too much, all right? So local concerns solved. Um, <laughs> what's your specialty now? Feet are frozen numb. This guy won't even take him out yet. Uh, what about you? Rowlet. Oh, it's what the quiz professor was looking for. She must have been. Let's go back to the professor and tell her what we found. 
All right, great. So let's, yeah, let's do that because we might be able to solve this quiz while we're over here. I don't know. And this really isn't a huge area. There's a monkey up there. Let's go this way. Have you figured out the answer? <laughs> it's Rowlet. There we go. Bingo, that's it. Maybe I gave too many hints. Rowlet are nocturnal. During the day, they stay still and photosynthesize. When they hunt, they silently sneak up on their prey and attack it with fierce kicks. Glad we didn't meet it at night then. We might have learned about those sneaky attacks, sneak attacks the hard way. On to question number two. What Pokemon has a blocky body, impressive jaws, and will shock you if you touch it? A blocky body? Is there really a Pokemon like that? Maybe it's an electric type Pokemon, but I guess we can keep an eye out for it. All right, blocky body. Now, I saw a blocky body. I didn't know what it was, but there's clearly a blocky body Pokemon over here. Right next to the, I mean, yeah, this does look like a shockingly, yeah, charge a bug, got it. Oh, you look just like what the quiz professor described. Yeah, she must have been talking about charge a bug. Oh, it's nothing important. Sorry if we startled you. Anyway, now that we know the answer, let's go tell her. So running back to the professor. No fast travel in this game, but really, I mean, think about the load time. It would just take probably just as much time. But anyway, let's go. Hi, detective. Judging by the look on your face, you found the answer. <laughs> yep, the answer is charge a bug. Exactly, good job. Charge a bug eats fallen leaves and converts them into electricity. And they can store that electricity just like a battery. Seems like they'd be pretty useful Pokemon to have in the great outdoors. If only a certain Pikachu had that talent. <laughs> hey, Tim, you know I can hear you, right? And now for question number three, this is the last one. What Pokemon is soft and fluffy all over? Wow, that last question is really vague. Just find the fluffiest Pokemon around these ruins. Soft and fluffy, huh? I wonder if anyone could beat that fine fur coat of mine. Now, well, there was a cottony looking Pokemon uh, it was over here. Where I actually don't remember where it was. Is this one it? It's really fluffy. That's an impressive amount of fluff. All right, then let's go tell her the answer. So I think uh, if that's true, then we'll be able to just return to her and be done with her for now until next chapter or whatever. But I still want to go, I mean, I, I feel like there's still a little area I haven't explored. So, Detective, have you identified the fluffiest fluffster around the ruins? <laughs> yes, of course, the answer is Eldegoss. Well, there you go. Yes, that's correct. Didn't you just want to give it a big hug and a kiss? By the way, Eldegoss's cotton is used as a material for all sorts of clothing. And not only that, the seeds attached to its cotton are highly nutritious for Pokemon. It really is an amazing Pokemon, not only cute, but helpful as well. Cute and helpful, is there anything it can't do? Our daily lives really are improved by so many different Pokemon helping us out. Well, that's it for today. today's quiz. I hope uh, you're looking forward to the next time we meet. I've got a feeling we're gonna keep running into her. Yes, well, please go easy on us, okay? Another local concern has been solved. And we'll get the other, I mean, the clef is probably gonna be solved very soon. We just gotta find another one, right? And I haven't gone all the way back to where I started, so let's go all the way back and maybe we'll see a Cleffa just chilling out somewhere. Also, I haven't gone up, really. Uh, I don't know if I could have gone up. Hey, Tim, where are we going? We got things to do here. So maybe they're... Okay, hold on. Chill, 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 chill. I'm trying to do things here. Gotta find the Cleffa. Uh, so let's begin deducing. I don't see the Cleffa yet. All right, so. There we go. So begin deducing who can help us with the, uh, hmm. yeah, who, who can get rid of the ice out of all these? This guy can. Oh. Monferno can melt the ice with its flames. Yep, some, some heat ought to melt away all that ice. Maybe this one was too easy. Monferno seemed to be struggling in this cold, though. I wonder if it'd be willing to help us. Monferno said it's confident about Spire skills. Maybe if we butter it up a bit, it'd agree to help. Just leave the talking to Pokemon to me. And then we know that uh, the... We know a couple more things. We know that um, if we go over here, the the berry is, is hmm. the sour one, for sure. Not the one that makes you have no face at all. This one is the best one, a sour blue yachberry. 
All right, so it checks the boxes. And then furthermore, we have, um, let's move around. We got this berry here. That's the only mm. thing there uh, right now that we see, right? Well, we, we had Panat Berries, but this one is the one. Ooh. If the berry needs to be sweet and yellow, then I think we need a Shuka Berry. Makes sense. The Shuka Berry's color and flavor are exactly what we're looking for. I think, but I didn't, you know, I didn't get, a, I didn't look at the Panat Berries, did I? Wasn't there a Panat Berry somewhere? I'm so confused for a second. All right. All right, let's ask Monferno. Right, let's go ask Monferno. He's right here. You better do it, Monferno. Don't be so selfish. You're asking a lot, especially in the Please, cold. Please, we need your power. Just give it your best shot. Great. We're counting on you. There's also an ice wall you need to melt. <laughs> that sound. There we go. This is a spicy red berry. We knew it. Now, who has them? <laughs> well, there was so much ice, but it's all melted clean away. Now we can get a good look at that middle mural. After feeling the warmth of your flames for a moment, the cold feels even worse. I'm really sorry about that. We pushed you pretty hard. You're going to move somewhere warm until the snow stops? Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks so much for helping us before you leave, Monferno. I hope you come back when it gets warm again. It's up to us now. Yeah, not that Monferno's melted the now that Monferno's melted the ice for us. Let's check out the middle mural. So, I mean, I know the hint. It's a, we already know the hint. I feel like that this part's a little unnecessary because I feel like I've already kind of deduced it. So, examine. It's breathing fire. It can't do that, but it ate something so spicy. It's breathing fire. And then, of course, there's a red berry over here. And we already know that the spicy red berries that we're looking for are out of stock. Use the last one in the cooking thing. The guy outside did with Chris Honor. Who has a name like that? <laughs> no. All right. Anyway, so we're done investigating the mural. And then, okay, we're finally able to examine the middle mural. Now we need to think about what sort of berry we should place on the middle statue. And if we talk about it, you know, we have those berries that are sold out. So the middle mural just picks it. Okay, yes. So, um, uh, what, begin deducing. Hmm. Neither, uh, yeah, this, this berry is red and spicy, right? But they don't have any. But we figured it out, but they don't have any. What should we do then? I don't know the answer to that. We can't follow Gordon without a tomato berry. How did the professor manage to solve this puzzle anyway? Gordon must have brought a tomato berry here with him. Chris had some that he used in his curry, remember? Yeah, that's true. We can't activate the mechanism the same way Gordon did. All we can do now is look for something else we can use in the tomato berry's place. Like what? Seems like we just need to meet the two conditions for the statue's color and flavor. If you think about it, we may not even need a berry as long as those two conditions are met. So we should look for something that's spicy and red like, like a tomato berry. It's worth a shot, I suppose. It sounds like Chris brought a bunch of stuff with him. Let's go ask him what he's got. Maybe he's got something we can use. Sounds good. Let's go talk to Chris. I think we just find the berry. I think. And maybe he's got an ingredient we can use as a substitute. I don't know, man. This is feel it's feeling a little flimsy. What about you? Yes. What's You're a little spicy, aren't you? You're looking for berries. Whenever the professor and his assistants are at a research site, they always carefully survey the surrounding area. Chris should be able to help you if there are any berries you can't find. All right, well, I'm curious if, like, there was a chain reaction with the with the ice and, like, maybe this also melted. Okay, no, we need, we need the, we need the... Yeah, okay, I know. We can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. Let's just go talk to Chris. Chris has got to have the key or the berry or something red for me. And then we'll find Gordon, probably. Maybe. All right, bud. You got to help me. Oh, I meant to talk. A substitute for tomato berry. 
We need a tomato berry. Do you know if there's anything else we can use instead? Anything else red and spicy will do, really. Red and spicy. Well, I've got some curry and apple and some snacks. Well, the curry is red, right? Um, Didn't you say you used tomato berries in this curry? Yes, I always bring some along because they're the professor's favorite. Sounds like the flavor's right, and I guess the color is pretty red. But we'll try it, I guess. I mean, I'm not so confident. Why not just... Okay, anyway, you mean like a regular apple? Yeah, I brought some apples to add a little sweetness to the curry. The color's right, but not the flavor. All right. So just... If we begin to do... So what kind of snacks do you have? What sort of snacks do you have? Five alarm chips. The spicy flavor is hard to beat, but they're not red. Flavor's right, but not the color. So yeah, that's not the right color at all. What are you thinking? Let's change the subject. And by that, let's stop talking and let's deduce... So we know now that, yeah, we can use the curry, I probably. Uh, let's see what we want to do. I think the curry is going to be good for it. I'm just, it does have tomato berries in it. Seems like our best bet for a substitute. Let's go try it out. Yeah, we just need to ask Chris for some of his curry. It'd be funny if he didn't give us some. He's like, no. Mm -hmm. So anyway, would you mind sharing a little of that curry with us? My curry will help you solve a puzzle, puzzle in the ruins? That's incredible. Take as much as you like. I hope, I hope it helps you find the professor. All right, you know what to put on this on which statue, don't you, Tim? Why don't we do that right now? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I hope this activates the mechanism. Me too. I wonder if the Ursa ring is what behind that frozen wall. Well, we place the berries on, uh, or curry on all the statues. What now? Is it gonna act up? Whoa! There you go. Scary. <gasps> Slash. Just as I thought, the path continues on past these statues. I gotta say, it's pretty incredible that using curry actually worked. Mm hmm. All right, now we can keep going. Yeah, let's hurry and find Gordon. Slow poke. Here he comes. Slow and pokey. It's that slow poke again. He must have followed us here because he's worried about the professor. Makes sense. You are partners after all. Feel free to tag along at your own pace. Slowpo. All right. So, um, keep going. Yeah, but is this an alternate path? I was curious how to even get over here to these uh, that that Pokemon over there. I don't even know. But let's just keep going. Oh wait, what does Slowpoke want to talk about? You were frozen in place until just a little bit ago. Don't hurt yourself moving too much now. I see. Well, you're a loyal one, that's for sure. And what do you have to say? I'm going to keep looking after Slowpoke so you can go on ahead. Thanks, Rachel. You better find the professor soon for Slowpoke's sake as well. Yeah, you're right. I hope he's not too far beyond here. All right, here we go. This is pretty exciting, I would say. Oh, wow. It's even bigger. Okay, there's a hat. I think I saw a hat. Oof, it's even colder down here. Hey, Tim, can I borrow your jacket? You're covered in fur, Pikachu. Shouldn't you be better suited to the cold than me? Fur, no fur. This place is cold. If we keep standing around like this, we'll freeze solid. At this point, we better hurry and find Professor Gordon for our own sake. Yeah, I saw the hat over here. There's a big hole in the floor, so I don't think we can get across. It's really deep, too. The professor probably hasn't come this way. Wait, Tim, look. Look. These footprints. are the professor's footprints. D did he fall in? He's gone. Doesn't seem like it. Look what's on the other side. More footprints. I mean, oh. no. Hat. I saw that hat. Hmm. Do you think that hat belongs to Professor Gordon? Looks that way. Well, we found a clue, but how did he get across? Wait, Slowpoke. Did I just hear... You're what? Yes. Oh, thank goodness he stopped. What's going on, Rachel? I have no idea. Slowpoke just suddenly took off running. He says if Mr. Go went this way, he wants to go too. But look at this hole, Slowpoke. Isn't it obvious that we can't get across? Really, Slowpoke? You've got a brilliant plan? It'd be great if Slowpoke could help us somehow, but are you sure that's a good idea? Well, we'll leave it to you then. Okay, do your thing. 
Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Oh, water. That's a good idea. That's a lot of water. Where did it all come from? <laughs> from inside Slowpoke. Oh. Wow, we completely filled it with water, but how are we supposed to get across? Huh? Hey, wait. You think it would just freeze, right? Huh? Oh, he just swims across. Okay. I'd be worried that I don't understand why it's not freezing. He swam ahead on its own. That slowpoke is a real handful. All right, what what are we doing now? Hmm. Oh, yeah. We we know we know who can swim, but not cold enough to freeze all that water solid, which is a problem. We could get across if we laid a bridge over it. Do you see anything we could use as a bridge? Well, no, and I'm sure Chris wouldn't have anything we could use either. We should get help from a Pokemon again? Yeah, that's a good idea. We need a Pokemon that can help us cross the water. And we know we can begin to do things. We already interviewed what hmm. skills this guy was good at. This one is good at water. He's a good oh. swimmer and a singer, so he can help soothe us with his melodies as we cross. The, the Lotat said they can carry Pokemon while, while they swim. If we ask them to act as the stepping stones for us, do you think we could get to the other side? If we cross one at a time, I think they could handle the three of us. All right, let's go talk to those Lotat. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. They better be. Don't be so selfish. All right. Here they are. Jump in. <laughs> Jump in. I wanted to check over to the left too, but I didn't do that yet. Hope I didn't miss anything. Hello, <laughs> Ted. Look, now we've got a Lotad bridge. It's telling us to walk across the leaves on their heads. Thanks, Lotad. I will, but first, I just want to look over here, see if I, because there was a big room over here that I didn't even look at, and I want to, so. Hmm, this Pokemon looks dizzy. It's a Minure, a Pokemon that lives in the sky. These fellows plummet to the ground if their shells get too heavy. It says there's not much food for it down here. It wants to go back to the sky, but its body is too heavy, so it can't get back there on its own. I see. Do you think uh, it could get back up if we helped get rid of its shell? Good question. Only a really powerful Pokemon could break through that shell. This is something. I don't know what this is. Hmm. There's a mural here, too, but it's different from the Basimian murals we saw upstairs. This picture might be a clue of some kind, too. I don't see anything around here that looks like a mechanism. At any rate, right now we should be connect concentrating on finding the professor. All right, fine. We'll do the professor stuff first instead of solving puzzles. All right, well, at least we looked over here, and um, we now know that there's something over there. So let's jump across. Okay, I'm going to cross now. No, Dad. No, Dad. No, Dad. No, Dad. <laughs> All right. Thanks to those, <clears throat> excuse me, thanks to these low tie, we made it across. Tim, ask Rachel about the hat. Hey Rachel, is this Professor Gordon's hat? Yes, it's definitely the professor's. He said he and Slowpoke wear matching hats. Apparently he's really picky about hats too, and this one's his favorite. Oh really, we better get his hat back to him then. If you want to be a first class guy, you gotta have a good hat. Okay. Gordon should be up ahead somewhere. Let's hurry, Tim. And then we find him just dead over here. <laughs> That robo looks like it collapsed recently. Do you think it collapsed naturally, or do you think someone did this? The professor might just be past here. But there's all this rubble and debris in the way. We won't be able to get through here. I wonder if there's anything we can do. We can find another entrance, I guess. And we can also talk to this one. Minyor's asking for help. What's it saying? Well, usually this Pokemon lives in the sky, but it fell to the ground after its shell got too heavy. Apparently it's lonely because it got separated from its family. All right, so we need a heavy or a Pokemon that can just break his shell open. Crack it open. Slowpoke. What's up with you? Calm down, Slowpoke. We just have to figure out how to get past this mess here. Yes. We need to get all this rubble out of the way so we can get past. I just need a Pokemon that can break stuff already. Come on. Oh, here we go. What was that? It sounded like a Pokemon cry. There we go. That's what we need. Maybe. I hope. Maybe. That's a Darmanitan. It looks really worked up. We'd better be careful so it doesn't see us. Darmanitan! 
<laughs> what if we need it? Yeah, he breaks rocks, you think? Maybe, maybe not. I don't even know. Or is this like a stealth part of the game? <gasps> What's an ice Pokemon doing here? It sure seems angry. I feel like things could get ugly if it sees us. If we're gonna go any further, we better be careful not to let it spot us. Looks like there's plenty of places for us to hide, though. Guess that's something to be thankful for. Yeah, that's true. Let's keep out of its sight and get through here. Oh, this is a stealth mode. If Darmanitan only notices Pikachu but not Tim, you'll have you'll still have to start over. Be careful, Pikachu runs slower than Tim. Ah, oh, great. Okay, we we got this though, right? Maybe. I'm ready. Let's go. I ha I have my path figured out. All right, all right, all right. Oh, he's moving now. All right, what's he gonna do? Oh gosh, if he comes this way, that's bad. What's he gonna do? Okay. All right, all right, come on now. Oh great, what if he comes back? I really don't know what he's doing. Oh, I thought this was gonna be it. Goodness gracious. I'm trying to figure out how to... This could be a dead end. Oh no. I'm gonna be so mad if he comes up here. Do not come up here, I'll be mad. I mean, it seems like we could go, right? We made it. We finally made it past. Yeah, well, that was terrifying. <laughs> Anyway, let's keep going. All right. But I think we handled that pretty well. Keep going. This place is frozen solid. Too bad that monkey couldn't come with me. This way looks like a dead end. Where could the professor have gone? I'm pretty sure we haven't passed him. Wait, huh? What is it, Pikachu? Did you just feel a breeze just now? No, I didn't feel anything. Are you sure you aren't imagining things? No, it was definitely real. I felt it ruffle my fur. There must be a gap somewhere. Come on, Tim, let's search for it. All right, search for the gap. There it is. Hey, Tim, we found it. There's a gap in the wall here. Let's get a closer look. Excuse me. What do we do now? There's nobody to get through a hole this small. What are you talking about? It's no problem at all. Huh? Just who do you think I am? Situations like this are where the great detective Pikachu truly, truly shines. Are you sure you'll be okay? It could be pretty tough to crawl through. Like I always say, you've got to use those legs while investigating. Let me show you how it's done, if you insist. Well, I'll see you later. See ya. Just be careful, all right? All right. Just push him through. Oh, really? I should have seen this coming. Don't just stand there. Help me out of here. <laughs> Wait. Just so we're clear, I do not want you to kick me. You want me to kick you? Okay. <laughs> Pikachu, the rest is up to you. All right. Good grief. Good grief. What? Is that him? Uh, I can't believe I ended up getting trapped in a place like this. Oh, Trevor Gordon. Hmm. He's a mineral archaeologist. Hey. So that's Gordon. I guess I should get a closer look. I've got to at least tell him that we're here to rescue him. But you can't hey. talk. Hey! Hmm? Uh, don't worry. We're here to help. <laughs> a Pikachu? 
Where'd you come from? Are you dancing? <laughs> right. Are you hungry or something? No, I'm not hungry. I've come here to rescue you. I'm sorry, little fella. I'd really like to help you, but I don't have any food to share. I dropped almost all the food I had on me when I was running from Darman Darmanitan. I mean, that's probably what, what saved me, but still. Huh, what's he talking about? I swear that Darmanitan's whole attitude changed the moment I saw the food. It saw the food. It must have been hungry, just like you. So Darmanitan's only rampaging because it's hungry? It's very hangry. But if it really was just hungry, it could have gone somewhere else to search for food. Why is it still sticking around here? It's already been two whole days. Darmanitan's got to be tired of this, too. Got it. So there's no food down here, which is why Darmanitan is hungry. But Darmanitan wouldn't choose a place with no food to be its home. So what is it doing here? Hmm, but the more important issue right now is how to save Gordon. I'd better look for an exit somewhere. Oh, leaving already. Be careful, little fella. Darmanitan's really on a rampage out there. You just wait here, Gordon. I'll find something out. Hmm. Here's Gordon's bag. That's a proper adventurer's bag. It looks really cool. Sorry, Pikachu. There's no food in there. I wasn't asking for food. Alright, so let's look for an exit. As far as I can tell, this is the only doorway that Gordon can fit through. Yeah, we gotta unblock that. Hmm. There are no gaps big enough for a person to fit through. I guess we need to figure out how to get all this rubble out of the way. There's no way Tim and I can clear it on our own. Now, if we were as strong as a Darmanitan, then we could pro- Oh, wait a minute. Didn't Gordon say Darmanitan was hungry? And Slowpoke gave me something earlier. I bet I can use this. I should get back to Tim right away. I just came up with a brilliant plan. Give the tail to him. Yeah, that's a good idea. I want to see about this, though, over here. Hmm. Oh, here's another mural. I'm just guessing here, but this might be another clue to some kind of mechanism. This mural can wait till later. There's, there's other stuff to deal with right now. All right, then. Uh, let's head back through, I suppose. Phew, at least I managed to make it through by myself this time. I guess she must have figured out the trick to it. Anyway, how's the professor doing? Apparently, he's been trapped in there for two whole days. Where's he using the restroom? <laughs> this is bad. We gotta hurry and save him. And the only way through is that area that's blocked off by the rubble. No, no, there's no way to get him out. Don't panic, Tim. I've got the great plan. What is it? We're gonna get Darmanitan to break through all the rubble for us. What do you mean? According to Gordon, that Darmanitan is really hungry, so I figured we could win it over by giving it some food. But the only food we have left over is leftover berries. Hey, aren't you forgetting about this? Slowpoke's tail? Yeah, it's really sweet. Just eating one makes you feel happy. So we'd feed this to the hungry Darmanitan. If we do that, we'll be friends in no time. I hope it's really that easy. Don't worry so much, Tim. Now come on, let's go back to Darmanitan. Okay. So, attempt his brilliant plan. So, Darmanitan coming your way. And we're going to give you a tail, apparently. And hope that it works. This will be just perfect. Sure. Good luck, Pikachu. Uh, Nothing's going to go wrong. Lure Darmanitan. Okay. How do we do that? Is this another mini game or something? Oh, shoot. That's a dance. Sorry. I didn't realize. Here, it's yours, Ida. <laughs> Pikachu. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You still got the tail though, right? <laughs> Looks like it worked at least. Yeah, all's well that ends well. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Darmanitan seems really happy. See, my plan worked out great. Sheesh, you sure know how to worry people. Okay, Darmanitan, you understand now that we're not bad guys, right? Good, just wanted to be clear on that. More importantly, there are a bunch of things we're curious about. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? All right, about you. That's hey. the one thing I want to... You're not originally from this area, are you? What brought you here? Huh, some people dressed in white caught you and shut you in a small space. What people dressed in white? 
Charmanton doesn't know exactly who they were, but he hated the small space he was trapped in, so he ran away with the others who were stuck there. Hmm, a small space. It must have been some sort of facility. It sounds like the people were doing experiments of some kind on the captured Pokemon. That's awful. You said there were others, Darmanagin. Are your friends around there here too? He said some friends escaped with them, and together you all froze the ruins? Why did you freeze the ruins? He says they can't go back to where they came from, so they were trying to make this place their new home and make it easier for them to live here. But didn't you realize that would cause problems for the Pokemon that already live around here? He says they didn't think it would be a problem if they only froze the place a little bit, but apparently it's been so long since they've been able to have fun like that, they got carried away. They really didn't mean any harm. Even so, we can't just leave things like this. You're right. Hey, can you do something about all this ice? If you want to, if, if you do that, this place will be too hot for you to live in. Can you live somewhere else? Ah, uh, he says he doesn't want to go anywhere else because there are humans out there. Hmm, this is a real problem. Hey! You said you were brought here against your will, but where did you live before? Hmm, I see. He says he came from somewhere cold and far away from here. I'm guessing his friends were captured and brought here along with him. Everywhere around here is too hot to live in, huh? Yeah, the climate here definitely isn't great for ice Pokemon. It'd be great if we could help them get back to their original home. Hmm. What can you tell us about the people who brought you here, the ones dressed in white? He doesn't know much. But he says they, they're they already bad they're all really bad people who were mean to him. It must have been a horrible experience. And apparently right when he arrived here, he saw some sus someone suspicious. Wait, you trapped him in a room so he couldn't do anything bad? You don't think he's talking about Professor Gordon, do you? I'm certain he is. It fits with what Gordon said. Hey, Darmanison, that, that wasn't a bad guy. Yeah, really, I can vouch for him. Does he believe you, Pikachu? I'm not sure. He seems like he's still not quite convinced. <laughs> Thanks for telling us all that, Darmanison. Now let's get down to the problem at hand. That means, uh, that man you said you trapped in the room, you think you could help let us out? Let him out? Please, Darmanison, we really need your help. Come on, we gave you that slowpoke tail, remember? You're, you're the only one who can rescue the professor. Oh, good, I'm glad you trust us. But there's, there's a condition. Your friends all got separated in the ruins and they haven't come back. And since you don't know where they are, you want us to help look for them, huh? Hmm, now that you mention it, I haven't seen any other ice Pokemon besides Darmanitan here. He says they're all just playing around in the ruins. He's worried about them and wants to check on them, but he doesn't know where they are. Yeah, these ruins are pretty big. Okay, okay, I heard you. If that's what you want from us, I'm sure we can help you out. Yep, you've got yourself a deal, Darmanitan. Ready, Darmanitan? I'm counting on you. <laughs> 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 All right, so now we're talking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use him to break things, right? <laughs> what a great view. A little cold, though. Just let me know what you want smashed. So I can take out a boulder or a block of ice with just one punch. You're pretty confident in your strength, aren't you? Okay, then let's see what you got, Darmanitan. Press the R button to destroy. Alright, now is there any reason to be like breaking these other than just to open up alternate paths or to, just to make a, you know? I don't know. But we will rescue the professor in a second. Let me just. There we go. There we go. Yay, I feel so much lighter now. Now I can go rejoin my family. Thank you so much. I knew that would happen. And it's gone. I hope it makes it home safely. How do you get out of here, though? This is the stuff you want me to break, right? Yeah, can you do it? Oh, yeah, this will be easy. Then go for it, Darmanitan. Smash that rubble. There we go. All right, now we can rescue Gordon. Thanks, Darmanitan. I'd say you're welcome, but that'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Huh? Wh where, when did the rubble go away? You just now noticed that. Well, anyway, now we can rescue Gordon. Please don't forget what I asked you, Pikachu. Of course not. Just wait a little bit. 
Slow. Oh, slow. Oh, there you are. Slow. 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 There he goes. He's getting there. He's so excited to see his partner. <laughs> huh? Professor Gordon, are you okay? Oh, Rachel, and you are? My name's Tim. I'm also a student at Rhyme University. We heard you hadn't been back for two days, so we came in here to check on you. Oh, you must have heard from Chris. I'm sorry I worried you, but thanks to you, I'm safe. Although I'll admit, I thought I was done for when that Darmanitan came into the room. Don't worry about Darmanitan. Pikachu's already befriended him. Oh, I see. So the Pikachu I saw before was your partner. Sorry I didn't realize that, Pikachu. Nah, it's fine. Professor, are you okay? Ha! No need to worry about me. You say that like you haven't been trapped in this cold for two whole days. I've been all over the world for my field work. What can I say? I'm a tough guy. You're telling me. Is it alright if we ask you a few questions? I want to figure out exactly how all this happened. Yes, of course. Alright, let's talk. Right. So where do you want me to start? What happened? Right. When I reached this floor, Darmanitan was also here for some reason. The moment that Darmanitan saw me, it suddenly started chasing after me. I tried to run it out of the run out of the ruins, but before I knew it, the door had already closed behind me. With nowhere else to go, I ran into this room. Why did it chase you? At first, I thought it wanted the food I had on me, but it's possible there's another reason. What do you mean? Well, it hasn't left this place in two days. If it was hungry before, it's got to be starving by now. Looking back, I think Darmanitan might have been trying to prevent me from going deeper into the ruins. It seems really interested in something back there. Hmm, Darmanitan didn't mention anything about something deeper in the ruins. Excuse me? Why were you here in the ruins in the first place, Professor? An interesting discovery was made recently regarding the geological strata of this area. It seems like a large number of meteorites once fell around these parts a long time ago. Meteorites, huh? Yes, and it occurred around the same time that these ruins were built. That's why I wanted to come here and do some field research. Is there some connection between the meteorites and the ruins? It's too soon for me to say. I was hoping to figure that out with the survey. I did learn a few things during my research, though. The people who built these ruins had a deep connection with a Aegislash. Oh yeah, we did see, see a relief of Aegislash. Aegislash's shield defends against misfortune, and its sword is a symbol of slashing that misfortune away. I believe this represents the people's hope for peaceful, protected lives. And at these ruins, those people held a very important ritual. Really? What kind of ritual? A ritual to strengthen the bonds between people and Pokemon. By working together and helping each other, people and Pokemon could overcome all sorts of trouble. So it's said that this ritual is meant to teach that way of thinking. That's a wonderful attitude. I agree. I believe that coexistence between Pokemon and humans is the overarching theme of these ruins. Our history has always been intertwined with that of Pokemon. I think our modern society could benefit from thinking more like these people did. Right. Sorry, I know I tend to ramble. No, I appreciate it. Now I've got a better understanding of the situation. By the way, what made you come all the way here? Actually, <laughs> there was something we wanted to ask you about, Professor. Oh, what would that be? A precious jewel was recently stolen in Rhyme City. We were wondering if you could tell us what exactly that jewel is. Sure, I'll help you if I can. Thank you, here's a photo of the jewel. Professor, can you tell us anything about what's in this photo? Hmm? Incredible! That's no ordinary jewel. It's a fabled crystal that some believe is actually a Pokémon. A Pokémon? Indeed. Hmm. You're saying this jewel is actually a Pokémon? I am. In fact, according to one hypothesis, this crystal may have fallen from space just like a meteorite. Some say the crystal will assume its true shape if it's imbued with a special energy. I've never seen it in that state myself, though. It never even occurred to me that the Aurora Drop might be a Pokemon. I wonder if the thief knew what th that when they stole it. And if so, what do they want it for? Hmm, the questions just keep piling up. Is that all you wanted to ask me about, Tim? Yes, thanks so much for your help. Well then, Professor, we should get back to Chris. No, I'll let you tell Chris that I'm alright. I'm so close to unlocking the secrets of these ruins. Since I've already made it this far, I'd like to finish before I head back. You can't be serious. Are you sure you're alright? I told you, this is really nothing. Thanks to you all, I can freely explore the ruins now. I don't want to waste another minute. Oh, come on. I heard he was passionate about his research, but this is ridiculous. Wow, he's really determined to stay. Oh, you really want to start searching for your friends, huh? 
Well, I suppose now is as good a time as, as ever. Tim, why don't you and Rachel stay here for a bit and keep an eye on Gordon? In the meantime, I'll go in and keep my promise to Darmanitan. Okay, we can't just leave the professor here after all. Right, then it's settled. Okay, let's go, Darmanitan. Let's go indeed. We gotta find some more friends. Okay, do you have any idea where your friends might be? They all said they were going upstairs. I think they're still there. And what kind of Pokemon are these friends of yours? Uh, all right. Venolite, Mr. Mime, Burkmite, and Smoochum. All right. Whoa. We didn't see any Pokemon like that on our way here. Do you think they could have gone outside? I don't think so. They'd probably be scared of going outside because they could run into humans out there. So they, so they must be hiding somewhere. Okay, let's look for them upstairs. Yeah, thanks, Pikachu. Hey, what about this? Is this anything yet? It's got a message on it, too. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to deal with that in just a bit. Um, now, was there a... Uh... All right, let's get out of here. I think that we are on the right path by going this way. I hope we can walk across the water. I don't know. I love the way Pikachu looks. Can we go back to our pond now? Oh, yeah, sorry. Thanks for all of your help. You're welcome. So now... Oh, wait. How do we get across now? It's okay. Leave it to me. It's water. So if I do this, it's frozen, right? It's going to freeze it. Great. That's what I was talking about from before. Freezing the water. There, now we can cross. All right. Freezing water is not a problem for an ice Pokemon. Not at all. But there is another one of those Pokemon over here, I think. In uh, this room over here that we can go ahead and break free. There we go. Thanks, you punched my shell to smithereens. Now I can get back to my home above the sky. All right, that's a good move then. Wow, it disappeared in an instant. Indeed it did. So now we're going to go upstairs and try to find some more of this dude's friends so that we can keep our promise because he helped me. I will help him. Let's see what we got then. I think everyone's somewhere on this floor. They might be hiding in places that are hard to find. Got it. Let's search carefully. No problem. It's my turn to help you out now. Hmm. Still wonder about that guy up there. I don't know how to get up there. All right. So let's think about this. Where would someone be? Do you think I can punch this? No. Oh, here she is. Huh? I don't see anyone. I think she's just sleeping. Hey, wake up. Oh, that is a Pokemon itself. <coughs> okay, that makes sense. Hmm, is that you? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay. Nani, nani. Nani, nani. All right, great. Hey. Wow, there was a vanilla inside all of that snow. Now that I think about it, I guess I had heard that vanilla usually sleep in snow. Oh, you have a Pikachu with you. Anyway, did you need something? I hadn't seen you in a while, so we came to see how you were doing. Now that we find, found you, do you mind answering a couple of questions? Hey. What were you doing here? I was having fun making it snow. It's been a long time since I've had such a wide open space to play in. So that's why there's so much snow in here. Then, then I got tired from all that playing and went to sleep. You weren't in danger or anything? No, nothing like that. You're such a worry wart. Hey. So the other Pokemon aren't with you. No, I was the only one playing in this room. I see, I guess the other Pokemon are in other rooms then. All right, I guess we'll go check. Now I know where one is, one's by the frozen area. Um, I know there's one uh, over here, just kind of chilling out. What's with this weird boulder? It definitely looks different from the others. Can I smash this one too? Yeah, it should be fine. Just be careful. It's a Crustle. He's mad. Sorry. Gah! Huh? Did that boulder just talk? That's not a boulder. That's a Crustle. It's a Pokemon that lives in the boulder. It carries on its back. Goodness gracious! What do you think you're doing? Could you have smashed my favorite? You could have smashed my favorite boulder here. What would I have done then? We're sorry. He really didn't mean any harm. Please forgive him. Well, I never. 
few. I guess you better check next time before you punch a boulder. I didn't know there were Pokemon that carry boulders on their back. What about this? Hey. That's some really thick ice. I'm pretty sure I can break it with a punch. Really? Then please do. There you go. And then there is a Mr. Mime over here. Maybe two friends. Oh, and there's the Ursa. All right, let's go over here really quick. My mom. <laughs> Galarian form of Mr. Mime. Oh, our hero. I've been stuck. We've been stuck here for ages. Thank you so much for saving us. Allow me to express my gratitude with a tap dance. Oh, that's right. Ice type and Mr. Mime are supposed to be good at tap dancing. You don't need to dance. I'm just glad you're safe. So the shadow we saw beyond the ice was actually Mr. Mime. Hmm, I don't believe this Pikachu and I have been introduced. That's because Zarmanitan and I have only just become friends, but that's a story for another time. Could I ask you some questions? About yourself? Hey! What were you doing here? That Bergmite over there was trying to cool this room down, so I offered to help uh, make a big wall of ice together. We really made an effort, but apparently there's such a thing as too much effort. It never occurred to me that we wouldn't be able to get out. So you two made this ice, huh? What a pair of troublemakers. Hey! Are you two the only ones in this room? Yes, it's just me and the Bergamite here. But there's also... <laughs> there's, that's, not, that's not true. I see that one over there. Bergmite's here as well. Ice cold shyness. Oh, if it isn't Darmanitan, then who might you be? I'm the great detective Pikachu, Darmanitan's new friend. Everyone was taking so long to come back that I got worried, so I came looking for you. Pikachu's been helping me search. Ah, sorry to put you through all this trouble. You see, we weren't able to leave this room. What in the world happened? Can you tell me? What would you like to know? About yourself. Hey. Why were you walled in here? I was trying to make this place more comfortable to live in, so Mr. Mime and I worked together to make a wall of ice. Mr. Mime was practically putting on a show. I tried to match that energy, but we both got carried away and ended up making too much ice. And that's how you got stuck. I'm glad you're both okay. Hey. Are you two the only ones in this room? Yeah, just me and Mr. Mime. That's not true. But let me punch some of these. I just want to see what happens if I break these. And then I'll, of course, punch the Ursa thing in just a second. Here we go. Just want to make sure there's nothing here. There we go. Oh, where am I? What was I doing? Oh, good. It looks like it's okay. Seems a bit groggy, though. What should we do? Let's see what it has to say first. We'll get a better idea of how it's doing. Earth. Hey, Ursa Ring, your friend is looking for you. What? All right, I suppose I haven't been back for a while. You should get back to your friend so we can stop worrying. Right, I'll do that. All right, see ya. <laughs> that was easy. Should we go check with that Ursa Ring outside the ruins too? We will. We will in just a second. Um, and then... If you break my beautiful boulder, I'm going to be very, very upset. Yeah, we'll, we'll be more careful from now on. <laughs> Alright, and then I'll check this other room over here. Not really sure what I'm looking for. But maybe there's more ice? I don't, I don't even know. There's a little bit of ice in the middle of where the slowpoke was. Oh, there's a sound. Huh, did you hear that someone crying just now? Yeah, I did. It's coming from the ice. There might be someone inside. Can you break this ice? No problem. There we go. Is it another friend? Smooch him. Pucker up. Ooh, Darmanitan, thanks for rescuing me. We've been looking for you, Smooch him. I'm so glad we found you. I sure didn't expect you to find, uh, to find you inside the ice. Huh? Who's that? Who's that growing out of your head, Darmanitan? <laughs> this is Pikachu. He's helping me look for everyone. Yeah, nice to meet you. I, I know this is pretty sudden, but do you mind if I ask you some questions? What do you want to ask me about yourself? Hey. Of course. How did you get inside that ice? I wanted to make myself a house out of shiny, sparkly ice, so I kept making the ice bigger and bigger, but then I couldn't get out. I was so lonely. There, there. You're safe now. No need to cry. Hey. Is there anyone else here with you? No, nobody. That's why I couldn't get out. All right. Have we found all of your friends? Yeah, all the ones I want to help looking for. All the ones you, huh? Now that we know everyone's safe, why don't we head back? Oh, uh, sure. 
We will. Uh, but I want to go outside first because there seems to be. Attack! Oh, that didn't do anything. There are things that I can probably do. Yeah, that I can help Attack! you do. There you go. You punched my shell right off. It feels like I've been reborn. All right, that one's squared away. Wow, it sure took off in a hurry, but that's what it wanted. Now, instead of getting back to, if it lets me go outside, then there's definitely stuff I can do outside with this guy. So, um, I'm gonna see what, what 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 we can pull off here. I hope I hope it lets us. I hope he's not. He might be too fearful. I saw a bird fly through. I think. All right, so it looks like it's going to let us go outside, which is really interesting. Is there anything over here? Attack! Indeed, there is. Attack! 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 There we go. We made a brand new path, and who? What is this? Soul Rock. I miss the sun so much. Oh, a soul rock, you don't look too happy. Well, the weather's been awful here for a while now, you know. Because of that, I haven't been able to soak up enough sunlight. I've got no energy now. But isn't it better if it's snowing all the time? Soul rock is powered by solar energy. It's built differently from you and your friends from colder climates. Oh, wow, I didn't know there were Pokemon like that. Yeah, look at what you've done. So that should be a lesson to you, to, uh, you know. To, to make it less snowy, please. Let's go this way. I don't know if there's anything down here, but I just want to look. Pasta. Who are you? I haven't seen your face around these parts before. I just started living here recently. Well, there's plenty of food to go around, so you can live here as long as you like. That's kind of you to say, but I doubt Darmanitan can live in a climate like this. We need to think of a solution. Does he still want to talk? Try not to cause too much trouble. All right, and then uh, uh, let's go help break some stuff uh, this way. Great. Hey, Pikachu, my friend got back safe. Glad to hear it, Ursa Ring. I'm about to explain that we've got to be more careful from now on. Thanks for your help, Pikachu. Another local concern. I don't know if there's going to be four or five. I feel bad for making my friend worry so much. It's okay, Ursa Ring. I'm sure your friend's not upset at you. Thanks. I'm still going to be more careful from now on, though. I'm just kind of curious. If I start breaking more and more rocks, am I going to find something that, like... What is this? What is that? A shuckle. All right, stretches out to say hello. Oh, what's going on? A Pokemon came out of the rock. A shuckle, I guess it was inside that boulder. Wow, you really startled me. If you're gonna wake me up, be gentler about it next time. We're sorry, we had no idea you were here. Sorry for breaking your rock. Don't worry about it. I was just thinking it was about time to get up. More importantly though, why is it so cold? Did I sleep all the way until winter? No, it's just a bit of a bad weather. It'll be okay. Really? Thank goodness. But still, it's way too cold right now. I better make myself some nice, nutritious juice to perk myself up. All right, I remember Shuckle can make all sorts of different juices inside their shells. Really? Sounds tasty. Shuckle. Oof, it's so cold. I better hurry and make some hey. juice. Yep, whip up some delicious juice. All right. What do you guys have to say? Thanks for your help earlier, Lotad. We're always happy to make new friends. Let's all sing together. Oh, that sounds fun. Hey, we don't have time to play right now. Oh, I guess you're right. All right. Then I know that the fossil guy is looking uh, for something over here. Is it over? Is it to the left? And yeah, we're still looking for your thing. Yeah, three. So, yeah, there's a... Th I don't know where the third one is. That's kind of one reason I'm breaking these rocks and stuff in, in hopes that there's, like, a third one in the rocks. I haven't seen a third one. Attack! I'm helping. Attack! Attack! There's one. 
Eep, you scared me. Oh, there's a cleft of hiding here. Oh, I was so sure nobody would find me here. You found a good hiding spot, but not enough, uh, but not good enough. Besides, you've got plans you're going to be late for? What, is it that late already? Thanks for telling me. See ya. Hey. All right. Let's head back and see how things are going. Indeed. Thanks for finding everybody. We found all the cleft that we're playing hide and seek for you. Yay, we're about to head out on a trip to a hill that's kind of far away. We go there a lot because of the view. It's so pretty on nights with lots of shooting stars. I see. I hope you're able to see some see some tonight. I'm just happy to see you so pleased. Another local concern solved. I still want to break the, see if I've broken enough things down here for that guy's fossil or whatever. So let's see if that's the case. Attack! What, who are you two? Are you the beam of hope that will pierce through the dark sorrow of my heart? Whoa, he's looking at us with desperation in his eyes. You think we should avoid him? Wait, please, wait. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but please limit your immeasurable power. Could you find it in your heart to break open boulders and bring me any fossils you find? My partner Zigzagoon's toes are frozen stiff from the cold. Look at my paws. Mm. Oh, wow, those are some icy looking toes. And so I need your help, I beg of you. He really does sound desperate. Yep, looks like we've just been made honorary fossil excavators. He's really counting on your punching power. Normally, I would just break the boulders myself, but I just can't do it right now. Please, won't you help us? It's hard to say no. Sure, we'll help you. But which boulders should I break? True, we're not experts. We can't tell by looking which ones are likely to have fossils in them. I guess we're just going to have to break any boulder that looks like a like the candidate. Okay. Uh, thank. I've been breaking all the boulders already. I've been searching for an armor fossil and a skull fossil. Please find them for me. So I've been breaking the boulders. I don't know. Uh, okay. I've already broken like all the boulders I've come across. So this is really. Oh, here's a couple. Here we go. Uh, some sort of flat rock came out. What is it? it? Looks just like a rock to me. Oh, so there we go. Take it to the collector guy. Sure. So we finally got one. I'm not going anywhere. We don't need to go that way right now. Leave me alone. I wasn't doing it on purpose. I just worried that some of the ones I broke also had them in it, but, you know. Uh, hey. There's a flat rock. Armor fossil. If you restore this fossil, it'll become a Pokemon called Shieldon. It's said to have an incredibly durable face that can withstand even the strongest attacks. Apparently, it's a fossil of a super tough Pokemon. You two are good at finding fossils. Please, please, help me with my fossil collection. Sheesh. What an intense stare. So I just need one more, and I am, I'm a little worried that maybe breaking the previous rocks was a bad thing, but I don't know where other ones are unless they're like, I mean, I feel like I've broken all the rocks I could, right? Did I not? Unless I, I didn't break all the rocks. Oh, there's another rock. It's back. It came back. That's interesting. Yep. There you go. It came back. So it's another rock from the, for the fossil collector. So we'll head back. And then what do we got? Another strange rock. Old Amber. This fossil contains the DNA of the dinosaur Pokemon Aerodactyl. It's a fearsome, ferocious Pokemon that ruled the skies in prehistoric times. However, this is not what I've been searching for. Huh, I guess we didn't hit the jackpot. But it looks so happy. Humans are sure complicated. I'm sorry, and after you went out of your way to find that and bring it to us. Please, please help me with my fossil. Jeez. Okay. So there's still one. I mean, I thought that was going to be it for this one, but he wasn't looking for that one. So I wonder if any other rocks have respawned. I wonder if some of them are inside the, the ruins or whatever. That would be interesting. This one, you know, had that guy in it. Were, were there any other rocks over here that needed to be broken? Not that I see. But we will make an effort to, of course, try to find even more rocks that need to be broken. Even if they're ones inside the ruin. I mean, that's always a possibility, right? It could be inside the ruins. Let's go over here. So, see, I broke all these. Are these back now, too? Or these? No, these aren't back. So, there's one here. So, this one came back. And this one is uh, some sort of a rock. Don't play kickball with that. It's a bit of a walk, but let's go show the collector. And hopefully, 
this is one he's going to be interested in. That would be nice if he's like, yeah, this is the one. Then I won't have to worry about it again. <laughs> won't have to be worrying about these these big rocks respawning that I've been destroying, totally destroying. But if he's satisfied with this, then it should be good enough to go back to Tim. Well, now I've been waiting for you. Any discoveries? Hey. Uh, so here's another rock. Well, as I live and breathe, this is a rare and valuable skull fossil. If you restore this fossil, it'll become a Kranidos. It's said to be tremendously powerful, able to pulverize anything with just a headbutt. Sounds like it could give you a run for your money in terms of power, Darmanitan. It must have been a really amazing Pokemon. This fossil is in remarkably good condition, too. It sounds like you found something really wonderful for us. Thank you so much. Now I've got both the skull fossil and an armor fossil. Marvelous, what a tremendous haul. I can present these findings at the next academic conference. This will do wonders to further the progress of all research into fossil Pokemon. Don't worry, I'll be sure to properly credit you for your contributions. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. I'm glad I didn't end up making my partner sad. Now they can leave. They both seem really happy. Does that mean we did something good? We sure did, and it's all thanks to you, Darmanitan. And so now we have five uh, local cases solved. I think that's probably it. I don't think there'll be a sixth one, but maybe we'll, we'll see. But now I'm going back into the cave to deal with whatever this researcher's on and get back to Tim. And I'm sure there'll be a couple more puzzles to get further. He wants to go further in. So that's gonna be one, that's gonna be a, a tough thing probably. But that, we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we can uh, discover, how we can develop the story a little bit more. So get back to Tim. I don't know, like, the first episode of this was like three hours long. <laughs> I think we've already been recording for two. So, these are just going to be longer episodes. I, I didn't really know how to split them up, so. We'll see how it goes. Whoa! Whoa. Why is everything shaking? I don't know. Uh oh. The door closed. We've got to tell Tim and the others right away. Why did the door suddenly close like that? Do you think you're strong enough to open that door? Nuh-uh, not even I couldn't open the door that big. Yeah, I figured. I guess I better go discuss this with Tim. Let's go back to the others, Darmanitan. All right, so now this has uh, been frozen over. And then, of course, if we go up here to look. Tim! Some bad news. Some good news, some bad news. Mm -hmm. I've got bad news, Tim. The door to the ground floor just closed. What? Is that what that big rumbling sound was? Yeah, that was the door shutting tight. But why would it do that? No idea, it just kind of happened. What do we do? We gotta find a way out. Maybe we should try talking to Gordon. He might know something we don't. Good idea, I'll see what he has to say. No. I see, so that uh, rumble really was the door closing. Did you suspect that already, Professor? Yes, but because the same thing happened when I came down this to this floor. There was suddenly a deep rumbling sound, and then I was trapped down here on this floor. That must have been one of those two rumbling sounds Slowpoke said he heard. Isn't there another exit? I believe so, yes. Do you know where? There may be one in the deepest room of the ruins. It's said that these ruins were originally built to host a ritual that strengthens the bond between people and Pokemon. There's an ancient document describing the ritual, and I found one line particularly interesting. Solve all the riddles in the deepest place and find yourself back in the sun's embrace. The sun's embrace must be a reference to the outside. I see, so if we solve all the riddles of the ruins, we might be able to find an exit and get out of here. Yes, if that document is to be believed. I wonder what kind of riddles it's referencing. I'm not sure, but I'm curious about the two murals on this floor. I can't say for certain that they are related to the riddles or the ritual, but there must have been some meaning or other. There's the, there's the mural in this room and one in the other room. Why don't you take a good look at them both? Thanks, Professor. We'll investigate them right away. Thank you. I'll stay here and ponder these riddles a bit more. If you find anything, come let me know. Of course. Uh, what's the next thing? Hmm. One final puzzle must be solved. According to Gordon, it sounds like there are clues in the murals. Yeah, the mural in this room and the mural in the other room. I think we'll be able to find a way out of here if we can figure out the two what the two murals mean. Let's go investigate. So yeah, we don't even have much to go off of other than let's take a look. Hmm. It's a mural depicting a human. Let's see if we can get uh, if it can give us any clues about the exit. Okay. I bet we can find some important hints here. Let's look closely. 
So I already kind of see what we're looking at here. It looks like a drawing of a human. Yeah, the style is similar to the relief we saw in the entrance too. It looks like there's a pedestal or something under its feet. Maybe it's depicting a statue of a human? I guess so. So from the human statue, we go, uh, the Pacimian murals all correspond to specific statues, so maybe there's a human statue somewhere too. We saw some reliefs of a human carved into a wall, but I don't remember seeing any statues. So then we just go, yeah, what, what are we looking at here? There's a path. These look like footprints. Yeah, so we, there's a path here that we follow somehow. They're just walking away from the human, but they're zigzagging everywhere. Think there's some meaning to this weird path? Probably. And then what's this up here? This is a, uh, I wonder if the door drawn here is supposed to be an exit out of the ruins. Probably. So if we, if we remember this pattern, hey. seems that way, but we haven't been anywhere that looks like this. Where could be the exit then? All right. I think that's all there is to see here. I guess so. So, you know, if we remember this pattern, I don't know if we will, but if we remember this pattern, it looks pretty obvious the way that we need to go. But let's take a look at the other mural because there is one more and it's in the other room. And we can walk over the ice. Don't slip. It would be funny if you slipped and fell right here. But no, we go over here and there's another pattern. Uh, did I? Yeah. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. So this one is hmm. the other path to the other. Okay, it's a mural depicting a Pokemon. So I... Uh, I'm a little confused, actually. Uh, this Pokemon... Oh, we moved this Pokemon to there. We move the human statue to there and this Pokemon to here, probably, is what's going to happen. I don't know if we move him hey. with the big big Darmanitan or whatever. But we have this uh, the statue of, uh, of a Clefairy. And then uh, what's the shape under its feet? It looks like some sort of pedestal. Maybe it's a... Yeah, it's a statue. And so we see the path and we see the, uh, its relation to the door. And so uh, it seems like a, we have a pretty clear answer of what needs to happen. We just need to find this area. You know, where's the statue? Where are the statues at? I don't know. Uh, but they're taking a weird path. I I'm guessing it ends up there. And of course, there's mm. the door. So I'm guessing we have to move two statues is what's what's going on here. And so I, we just got to find the room. Uh, right. Let's see, can I deduce it now? Is it time to deduce or okay. I mean, we haven't Let's even seen the deducing. room? Hmm. Yeah, we got it. We moved the stat yeah, so we know exactly. I mean, I think it's the middle. I mean, this clearly this is what we do to to move the statues. Oh. Both murals depict footprints, so that means we need to move the statues in the same direction as the footprints. The footprints are moving away from the statue, so we should move the statues the same direction. I think you might be onto something here, but we still got one problem, and it's a big one. Yeah, we don't know where these statues are. Exactly. Even if we understand the clue, it's useless if we can't find the mechanism itself. There's got to be a room on this floor somewhere that has those statues. Nothing in the murals indic indicates that, though. Hmm, then where the heck are the statues? Uh, that's a pretty big problem. I see, so you figured out what the murals mean, but you still don't know where the exit is. Right, and we've already looked through every room down here. I'm not sure where else we can look. The old document said that the exit was in the deepest room, but the deepest, huh? Wait a second, have we really searched all the rooms? Hmm, I can't be sure until we look around a bit more. Why don't we try looking at the deepest room in the ruins one more time? Um... This is the room you we, we were in when we went to go check out the professor, right? This room is the farthest back from the entrance to the ruins, which makes it the deepest. I think we, we should probably look around here again. We saw that hole into the next room before, but we might be we might find something else. Okay, let's give it another go. Thanks, Tim. I can't say I know exactly what we're looking for, but let's pay close attention to the walls and the floor. Uh, I would say that we probably need to break this. It's really a big hunk of ice. Do you think Mr. Mime and Bergmite made it? Wait, maybe this wall is... What is it? Hold on, I feel like I'm on the brink of an epiphany. The puzzles and the murals. Also, a maze with a dead end. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Of course. It all makes sense now. A bolt of brilliance. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a mechanism on the other side of this wall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Huh? If the mechanism's on the other side of this ice wall, then what we thought was a real wall is just a thick slab of ice? 
This is the only wall that's completely frozen over. Don't you find that odd? I'm sure this wall is the same one as in Mr. Mimes' room. So this is nothing but ice. It sure looks like a wall to me. I mean, we don't have any proof yet, but there's one way to find out. Go ahead and do what you do best, Armaniton. What's wrong? We really need your strength right now. Pikachu seems to be asking him to break down the wall of ice, but Darmanitan's not even trying to do it. Maybe he doesn't want to break the ice. Apparently there's someone in there, and he's not sure it's a good idea to let us in. Seems like Darmanitan is still wary of us humans. Darmanitan, please listen. I know you can't understand what I'm saying. But we don't mean you or your friends any harm. If we make it out of here, I skipped it. I'm sorry. I'll take care of you and your friends, I swear. Tim, do you think your Pikachu could put in a good word for us? Please, Armaniton, we're all friends here. Sounds like he's on board. So he really did understand our feelings. Give him Ar what for, Darmanitan! Manitan! There we go. Wow. More stuff to break, I think. But we're deeper into the ruins. Amazing. And it's beautiful. Magnificent. What are these scrolls? What a sight. Let's break some more ice. <laughs> wow, so there was a room here after all. Just like I said. Pretty impressive, Pikachu. There should be a mechanism in this room that we can activate. Huh? Is it a tree? Oh, wow. I see poker face. Wait! I promise we're not gonna hurt you! Uh oh. Uh oh. That's shaking just now. Oh. Hmm. That shaking felt like felt just like when the door closed before. Askew caused that somehow, right? Yeah, it stepped on some kind of switch on the floor. He's saying that Askew didn't mean to shut us in here, so we shouldn't blame her. Don't worry, we're not blaming her for anything. Was Darmanitan hesitant to break this wall because of Askew? He says Askew's even more afraid of humans than the rest of the ice Pokemon are. That's why he built a huge wall of ice so no one else could get into this room. It might be good to hear Eskew's story, too. I just hope we can convince her to trust us. We can try talking to her while we're solving the mystery of the mechanism. I guess so. Let's... Let's see. Oh, you... Oh, you all got in here through the hole in this room's ceiling. And you're sorry you didn't tell us about this room even though you knew about it? Don't worry about it, Darmanitan. We know you were just looking out for your friend. Okay, I can't... I can't ride him yet, so to speak. Uh, where is... Yeah, there's a big hunk of ice here. Eskew probably made it. Uh, so we need to have, you know, let's talk to Eskew. You don't need to be scared, Eskew. We're friends with Darmanitan. Yes, really, so could you please trust us? It's okay if it's just a few questions, huh? Hey! Have you been in this room the whole time? Okay, you came. You all came in through the hole in the ceiling. And then all the others left the room, but you stayed here because you were too scared. So you got Darmanitan to make you a big wall of ice to keep you safe inside. She must have been really terrified. You don't need to be scared anymore, SQ. We're here to rescue you. Yeah, really? So cheer up, SQ. We've got your back. Aw, uh, it looks like she's smiling a little. Really? I uh, can't tell from her face. Hmm. So Darmanitan's been protecting you this whole time. And he made sure to stay nearby too to make you feel safe. And it's thanks to Darmanitan that you were able to escape from the people in white. I can see why you're intent on repaying him someday. But you know he doesn't expect anything in return, right? That's not why he did it. Don't do anything too rash. Hey, Where are the humans who captured you all? Really far away, huh? You walked for days before you found this place. Just the thought of those humans might come here really scares you. Don't worry, if they show up here, we'll send them packing. All right, now what? 
Oh! It's the Clefairy statue. Just like in the mural, this is definitely the right room then. Now we just have to move the statue exactly how the mural showed. There should be a human statue too. Where do you think that is? It's got to be in this room somewhere. Let's look. It's clearly what? here. Oh, not you. All right. Hope yeah. It's this. This is the human statue. All right. So then what? How do I move it? And then this is the door. This must be the exit out of the ruins. It's no good. This thing's gonna not gonna open unless we figure out that mechanism. We've looked all over the room, but I don't see the statue of a human anywhere. There has to be one, though. Let's talk to Gordon again. Good idea. All right, Gordon. Right. Hey, Professor, we can't find one of the statues depicted in the murals. Do you have any idea where they might be? Unfortunately, I don't. Even Gordon's stumped. Many aspects of this place is different from what I expected based on my prepar preparatory research, like the Wall of Ice, for example. Why don't we try talking this through, Tim? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. What exactly did you want to talk about? For starters, I want to ask for your help. All right, Tim. Do you think you can use your detective skills yes. to help us get out of here? Yes, absolutely. Sure. With you two working together, I'm sure we'll find the way out. Based on what we've experienced so far, we should be able to get out if we can get this door open. I wonder if there are any clues in this room. The Clefairy statue. Wasn't there a mural depicting a Clefairy statue and some footprints? That mural may be the key to solving the mystery of this room. I think you're right. The tiles here match the squares in that mural too. If that's the case, the mural in the room I was in must be related too. However, looking around, I'm not seeing a statue of a human in here. It's hidden in the ice. Do you remember where the human statue was located in the mural itself? Of course I remember. I was staring at that thing for two days straight. The human statue was in the second row from the top, on the leftmost side of the mural. And if we assume these tiles are laid out the same as those in the mural... Then it's in the ice. There! That chunk of ice. I solved it minutes ago. All right. Looks like you're up. Derma. <laughs> Man, <no. Turn! laughs> there we go. I'm surprised I didn't break the statue, too. So it was hiding here the whole time. Okay, so we've got the two statues, but what are we supposed to do now? Move them. I'm sure the murals must have a clue as to how the mechanism works. There, just like this. There are footprints depicted in the murals. They must indicate the past to move the stone statues. So that's what they represent. Let's give it a try. Hey, Tim, come give me a hand. Yeah. And there they are. They're friends. Oh, what's going on? Nothing's What about the happening. switch? The switch. Huh. I was sure that would work. There's a switch. Now that I see the two statues next to each other, the way they're posed looks somehow meaningful. Isn't coexistence between humans and Pokemon a recurring theme in these ruins? Yeah, the decor and artifacts here all attest to that. You see it too, don't you, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, I don't even know. Uh... No? Okay, knock the statues together? I'm guessing 
Is there, is there a missing hand? I don't know. Sure. A pose that symbolizes coexistence between humans and Pokemon. Something that represents both sides cooperating, working hand in hand. That's it. We need the statues to hold hands. But the left statue's hand is missing. What can we do about that? We could make it or find it. Can we it. use a Pokemon move? Good idea, Rachel. What? And we've got the perfect allies right here with us. Irma? I'm so confused. No po. What kind of move? That includes me, right? So then, who should we ask for help? We can use uh, Slowpoke's tail. <laughs> can soak the statues. Uh, the water will freeze. That's interesting. Darmanic can use the strength of the chisel. Eskew can freeze the statues. I'm guessing, uh, huh? If we're gonna, f I don't know this one. Okay, sure. That's it. Let's ask Ice Q to help. Ice Q. Ice Q. I wonder if I wonder if any of these options could have worked. Because some sound better than others, but others sound like they might still See, work. I hadn't thought of that. Huh. You've got this, Ice Q. Ice Q. I, I was saying it wrong the whole time. I'm bad at pronouncing Pokemon names. Make a hand. They're holding hands. Sort of. Technically. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. Thank you, Tim. Hey, maybe you should come to my class as a guest lecturer. <laughs> what would I say? <laughs> I want to lecture. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hold on. I heard someone talking What's behind us. I mean, huh? I, I'm sorry, sir. You've let those ice Pokemon escape? You're getting sloppy! Uh-oh. Well, well, we did retrieve the meteorites. Then get back here! Now! I swear, could that guy be any boss here? Uh-oh. Now what? Oh, Detective Pikachu! Bring you and earn me some respect. Uh, I don't think so, buddy. Listen up, pal! Hand over that Pikachu and I'll let you walk out of here. What did you say? Are yeah. you really sure threatening us is a good idea? <laughs> after him now! Pikachu! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's get him! Oh, great. Oh, no. I didn't know he had a man was flying with him. Oh, great. Let's just be friends. Oh, he's controlled, though. Maybe we can knock that thing off his head. I don't know. Oof. Oof. Whoa. Defeat Mammoth Swine. What? What is this? Is it fire now? Wow, I didn't know that was even a thing. All right, we got him. Quick time events. Probably the only like real like gameplay was navigating things. We are finally out of there. P Professor, you're okay. All right. 
Chris, sorry to worry you. <laughs> well, we managed to get out after all. Yeah, but who was that man just now? Do you think he was one of the people in white that Darmanitan was talking about? Sure seems that way to me. He must have come looking for Darmanitan and the others. Right, but what for? First the Aurora drop and now this? Feels like we're caught in the middle of a bunch of stuff we don't understand. What should Darmanitan and his friends do now? I'll make sure they're okay. Thank you so much, Professor. Yes, well, I've got to get a, set a good example for my students, you know. If the Professor takes all the ice Pokemon home, the ruins should return to normal soon. Yeah, and Monferno will be able to come back. Now then, you should get home. That man from before is still around here somewhere, and for all we know, he has friends around too. You're right. Thanks for all of your help, Professor Gordon. Hey, you're the one who saved me. You're certainly an interesting student. My office door will always be open to you, so please stop by sometime. We'll be right here, Tim, so just say the word when you're ready to go home. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready. I mean, I've done all the side stuff, right? Anyone else want to talk about anything, or are we good? Darmanitan and his friends aren't from this place. They must have been brought here by humans. I give you my word that I'll return these Pokemon to their proper home. All right, well then let's just get yes. out of here then. Are you ready to go home, Tim? I think so. I did I did the side quests. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. You know, today was really fun. Really? It was such a go there for a bit. I know, right? It was so exciting. Plus, I got to learn about what kinds of things you're usually up to. You better hit me up for your next case, too. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Don't worry, I'm just messing around. I know I'd just be a bother if I tagged along every time. Invite her, dude. She's coming along with you everywhere. You're getting married. Anyway, let's go home. <laughs> All right. Later that evening, 2nd Avenue, Rhyme City. Look. Are then a date? Huh? Uh oh, not this stuff again. There's that stone. Hey, up there. Wait, is it bigger now? You too. Huh? What's that behind it? Oh no, it's not the stone. It's someone. There's something wrong. Oh, they've got control of you two. Yeah. Oh no. Or wait, I'm so confused. No. Wake up! No, they're coming this way. Everyone, take cover now! <laughs> Who is this? No way, Harry! Harry, really? Dad! Wow. There's his hey, dad. You! What do you think you're doing with my dad? Don't let them interfere. Attack! Fear! Oh dear. Did Mewtwo do it? Save me? Mewtwo! Right back at ya. <laughs> Wait! Come back! Dad. <laughs> They're gone. We gotta get those devices off of him. Okay, he did it himself. What just happened? Why did you have Harry? Terrible. Pokemon battling in the city? It's just like Mayor Myers told us. Pokemon have to be managed. Managed. <laughs> this is not good. You need to get out of here. So it would seem. Do not worry about that human. <laughs> I'm kind of worried because he's my dad. I haven't seen him in forever. Tim. Does Pikachu actually know Mewtwo? You could say that. That's incredible. I guess. But where'd those guys take my dad? I don't know. How can I get my father back? 
There must be something I can do. With all the unrest gripping the city, the police have got to know something. Of course. I'll just talk to Inspector Holiday. He's bound to know something useful. And I guess that's what we'll do next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to come back next time for more. And I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.